here's Joel with the intro. <laughs> Welcome to the Locked In Podcast, episode two. I'm here, joined by Sean once again, again my co-host. Um, hey. And we have already prepped, got everything set up. It took a little, took a bit of a while, but we're getting more used to setting up a podcast now, aren't we? We are getting, we are getting a bit better. Which is good. We, we still know nothing what we're doing. We have, <laughs> we're literally just guessing our way through it. Oh, 100%. It's literally like, we're, we're the, after the first podcast we did, uh, by the way, we are drinking two strong bows for Joel and yes. two pronies for me. I'm going to open mine. Yep. Basically. I'm opening my strong bow um, right now. But yeah. I am gluten free, as I think I mentioned in the last one. So I will be drinking ciders or spirits, not beer. Yeah, that and he's a pussy. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, no, literally, we're, we're like trying to figure out how like the pop we have here issues and stuff like that. Trying to figure out, and we found like a little help help list thing. Uh, you starting a podcast, this is what you should and shouldn't do, and everything else. One of the things it says, I think I've got it on my phone still. Yeah. It was like, it, you can't just buy a mic and start chat with your friend. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I sent it to Joel. I was like, whoops. Immediately, <laughs> yes. He screenshotted this to me on the, what was it Monday or Tuesday after mm. we'd filmed it? So he filmed on the Saturday, on Friday last week. Yep. And um, yeah, he, he screenshotted it and was like, we've made a mistake. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> this, yeah. It turns out we've made many mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I'm, I think we should prove him wrong. We can just set up mics and just have a chat. Yeah, exactly. We have, we have topics. You know, yeah, we we have a topic. We have you know, we have many things to talk about. We don't have just one subject. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're, we we're, we're first all, we're, we're very first all human beings who live very interesting lives. Well, we think we live very interesting yeah. lives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you know, and, and uh, we don't want to limit ourselves to talking about one subject. Exactly. Forever. Exactly. We yeah, we can just have a chat and cover every topic ever. Boom. In one. Done. Done. <laughs> that was in sync. So yeah, well, why don't you kick us off, matey? Why? What have you been up to this week then? Since what? since last Friday, man, I had a mad week. Yeah, I had an insane week. I'll start with the vegan meal that never was okay. I've never... Yes, we were meant to go out Tuesday, weren't we? Yeah, you cancelled because it was your dad's birthday. It's my dad's which birthday, is fair, which, which I is forgot. fair enough. And else. <laughs> but which is honestly, I um, for anyone who doesn't know, I'm I'm not vegan. I've never had any vegan food, ever. I'm it's a insane. vegan virgin, <laughs> and that, the main reason why is this because normally when I, normally when I have vegan foods out and everything else, I'm out at a festival or out of things, and it's like. Do you want a vegan burger? Do you want a vegan pizza? It's like no, I, I want I want a burger. I don't want I don't I don't I don't want to, I don't want to knock off vegan shit. <laughs> I want I want, I want the actual thing. Damn right. What's the point? It's like do you want a Rolls Royce or do you want this thing that looks like a Rolls Royce but doesn't isn't a Rolls Royce? And everyone knows it's not a Rolls Royce. <laughs> no, no, you, and you, you know you'd be like it's a Rolls Royce, but it's not. No, no, it's I'll, not quite a Rolls Royce. No, you just want you'd be like no, give me give me the nice car. Yeah. Don't give me the knockoff. <laughs> You know, yeah. do do you want a real Rolex or do you want this Chinese cheap fake thing? Yeah. No, I want the Rolex. Give me the fucking Rolex. It's funny though because <laughs> vegan food is normally more expensive than actual meat. So which, it's like which, the... by the way, should not. Which by the way, to me, makes no sense. I don't. I don't. Anyway, type of thing. But that's the main <laughs> reason why I've never had vegan food. That. Yeah. And that's the main thing as well. And I used to work in a kitchen and everything else. And the way I, the way I see food is that you have a section of food and um, like flavors and stuff, and you make that into a dish. Yeah. And whenever I've seen vegan dishes on Spain, it's like. Well, we want them what the meat people have. It's like, well, no, you have a limited like selection of flavors. Use that to make your own unique food. Mm-hmm. It won't. You know, it's not going to say it's going to taste horrible. And like, especially here, like, when, 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 I, when I think we both think when we see see vegan food, it's like, well, it's bird seeds and bird seeds basically. <laughs> <laughs> it's bird seeds and nuts. That's, that's all I really think about. That I and, that like, and fake, I, make fake meat. Yeah, I, when I see it, I, I've had vegan food before. I absolutely, some of it has been absolutely fantastic because obviously I, I think I've said before I've gone vegetarian um, for Yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying vegan said before. But yeah, I, I I think, yeah, you've never tried it. I'm I not, yeah, I'm not saying, I'm not saying it doesn't, doesn't taste nice. It's just whenever I've seen it, it's like, well, there's stuff on the menu that's designed for the flavours that's actually there. Why well, would I have stuff that's not designed for the flavours but just, but they've tried to make it taste like the other stuff. It's like, well, no, it doesn't. It's not meant to taste like that. Mm. That's not the flavors you got in your hand. Yeah. And uh, I was last weekend. Um, well, we uh, well, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Um, I was with my dad. We in an Indian, and we saw like a little, you know, chef. It was final and master chef, and done, yes. done done stuff on Buckingham Palace and everything else. And he's doing a vegan meal. I was like, this actually sounds. A, he knows what he's doing, so it's yeah. gonna taste good. And B, it makes sense because. You know, in the Western side, in Western world, when we think of when you take meat, we have a very quite heavy meat diet. It's probably because we live Definitely. in a very cold environment, so we don't have the seasons to grow stuff all year round. So we end up looking to like meat and fish and stuff. Um, but in, in India, they have spices, they have different flavors, and I was like, they actually have stuff that can actually add more. Th-. So I was interested. I was really looking forward to it. 
all day Tuesday. Yep. I was dreaming of this thing, having these emails. I, like, oh, I don't want to get a house. It'd be interesting. I thought, completely new thing. Come home. It was a family. It was, I mean, it was originally a family thing. My dad pulled out because he had a meeting, a business meeting, and everything else. Yeah. Um. So it's like a family thing and everything else. And then I come home and I was like, oh, you yeah, know, got showered and got dressed, got ready, walked downstairs, yeah, put your nice clothes on, and ready for like, this meal. And, and I was like, guys, we, we're gonna be late. And my sister turned around and went, "What are you doing? We're like, day for what? Where are we going? Like, oh, we got we got the Indian, we got the vegan thing. I don't oh, know. We cancelled it. What? And I was like, when? Oh, last night. No one told me. Why? No one told me. Damn! <laughs> I was like, no, I was really good. So I'm still, I'm still a vegan virgin. Oh, mate! I'm still a vegan virgin, and I'm still, and I'll, I'll still stand by my principle of the fact that I'm not gonna have like a, a weird vegan burger. I mean, I, I'm, yeah. I'm, also, I'm not. I'm not, not going to Burger King getting the Impossible Burger. Yeah, but they're not vegan because they cook on the same grill. And apparently, uh, that's important. How? Well, I think it varies from vegan to vegan, right? No, it's important apparently. It's what? It's always it, a bad thing. It, it, it's, no, apparently it's very important. Really? It's very, very, yeah, because it, it, you're sharing the meat juices and everything. I guess, but if, if someone's not I don't not care, so I actually patty. might do it. I actually might just do it because I don't care, so I might, it might be a cheap way of doing it. But I mean... If you want your virginity to go, your ver- your vegan virginity to go in a nice way, you may as well go for like all out. Go to a nice little like London restaurant, upper class. Yeah. Go try something there. Yeah, I have nothing against vegans apart from the fact most of them are pompous assholes. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. That's so good. I love that. It's always like the the way is like I'm not racist, but <laughs> it's, no, no, I'm no, nothing no. against there's, there's, vegans. There's, I think but... that, I, I think there's two. There may be more that I actually do know who are vegan and are constant and they're not assholes. They're not pompous dicks about it. Mm. And I always forget they're they're vegans. So I'm like, oh, no, I'm just going to like a corned beef sandwich or thing. Do you want to go? Well, are we vegan. We can't have that. I'm like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. And it was like, oh. Oh, okay, fair enough. I forget, but they're so they're so not they don't care. They're not like these people. Like I can eat. I went I went to a, um, a festival and I was basically uh, eating like meat in front of them every single day, and they mm. not one of them gave a shit. Okay, yeah, so no, that, that, that's, that's the best way. That, that, that's that's quite cool about. It. And one, um, he was kind of cool about it. He, he talked to me about. It. It's like, yeah, I know we can be this and everything else, but I've, I've done my research. He's happy. He, he's, he's he's got his mind. His mind is easy. He's he has his own reasons for it and everything else. Um, not all I agree with, but yeah, man. Yeah, it's really taken off this year, hasn't it? Really, I think I, I've known a lot of people that have said, "Oh, I'm doing veganuary." Yeah, well, I think the the reason why it's taken off is because we're living in the first world country, so we don't have to worry where our food comes from. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we, it's like in a sense of we don't we can we have we can be we have we can afford to be self aware. Mm. Be like, oh no, this is me. This this is once a living thing. Mm. If I was hungry in Africa or India, I'd be like, mate, it's food. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I don't. I don't. I, I think like, the vegan population yeah, over not, in different not, continents can be much not lower. Not as bad as the Chinese. Like <laughs> it's a bat. I eat it. It's oh. a rat. I eat it. It's a live frog. Fuck it. It's going in my mouth. and I'm eating it. Yeah. Oh. oh, it makes me feel so sick. I um, feel like okay, okay. Oh, we need to lay off the Chinese. I feel people might think I've ever thought coronavirus all over again. It's actually no. gone mental, hasn't it? Like it really, has gone mental. With have you seen that. the video Still recently? That, have yeah. you seen the video? It's almost like done, done a video inside a quarantine thing. No, and basically, no. It's, like, it's basically the society's broken down. Really? It's, what, there's it's, a, what, like a quarantine hospital? It's not. It's not a quarantine. Or... It's a quarantine area. Yeah. And it's basically like they've because it's so an area that's hit in China. It's so big they've crazy quarantined an area. Okay. I believe, and that, that's that's what I believe now. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. yeah, yeah. Fact, Fact check in. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the quarantine. I love how you thumbs up. You looked at like the TV, like we've got a camera set up. You just gave a little Whoops, thumbs up oh. to it, like yeah. Whoops. Eventually, but... we'll have webcam. <laughs> oh, something. oh no. <laughs> No, because now See I care about my appearance. I don't. No, nah, it's it's quite nice being lazy, isn't it? We've got I've got my lazy t-shirt on. I'm naked. Yeah, yeah. It's weird that you keep doing that. <laughs> I got my legs open. He's yeah. staring at my crotch. No, I'm kidding. I'm just wearing. No, I'm, I, I just, my hair's just nuts. And my like... haven't had a haircut in ages. It's just like all over the place. It's, it's, I literally like Frankenstein. Put his finger in out in an electric socket. It's awful. <laughs> the way about Einstein look. Boom. Yeah. But um. Yeah, no, it's it's basically it's just like someone's like barricade themselves in and put mm. their kids in another section. Like, yeah, I think I got the coronavirus, so I don't want to give it to the kids. So I just barricaded myself in this door and left the oldest to look after themselves. Like, that's what? That's not okay. You can't do that. That's insane. <laughs> it's not normal. Yeah, it's 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 kind of like it shows you like you know how quickly society can like just yeah disintegrate. Yeah, I'm laughing, but I shouldn't really be. No, I mean, he's, we, we've looked into a it's lot actually of it. quite awful. Well, 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 it work because obviously a lot of people are getting worried about it, especially it coming to London. Um, obviously, everyone just worries about themselves overall. Um, but yeah, the the I had because I was looking into it basically at work. Mm. Someone was really freaking out that it might if they get it, they might affect their kids. Um, but it seems to only be killing off 
elderly really it doesn't seem to be affecting children as much almost at all no or, or young anyone healthy it is definitely what? the elderly um and the death I rate just... outside of china is actually really low obviously it's horrible oh, the in first any person as, as, as we're recording this the first person has currently died in france have they yeah the first person outside china has died and it's in france but oh it was, no there it, was, it was one died Ill- in the philippines one died in hong kong there was two but deaths outside yeah, but Hong of Kong's China. China. Hong Kong's China, right? <laughs> we, we discussed this already. Hong Kong's China. Whether Hong Kong doesn't want to be on... <laughs> they want don't to want be, to be. They, 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 they definitely they, don't. <laughs> yeah, that, that, yeah, but their opinion clearly does not matter at this point. <laughs> China has said yeah. <laughs> that they're Chinese. The and, they, and they've told the world to fucking deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, and to... Um, if, you, if they disagree, they'll, they'll weaponize the coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Send over the ill victims. Oh my God, this is... Oh, this is horrible. Yeah, <laughs> I have nothing. I have nothing against Chinese people. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't seem it. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I think they. I think it was. Yeah, Philippines and Hong Kong was definitely the first to do this. I didn't hear there was one in France. Yeah, just the first one died in Europe today. Oh in damn! France. Oh today. Yeah. So this is now Saturday. It's the fifteenth mm. uh, day. Oh, it's, 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 the first, it's the first time Fantastic. I heard it. I heard it on the way well, on the way. I was going to golf. Oh wow! Okay. I played golf before the storm kicked off. And yeah. It's not fun. Oh my god, Storm Dennis is disgusting. Last time we filmed on the seventh, and yeah. it was just before the storm hit. The storm hit on the weekend last yeah, week. Just, well, just before. Yeah, and uh, now we're right in the middle of it. So if you hear knocking or anything like that, we apologise. We're in a, a wooden yeah. cabin. <laughs> so you might you might you might just see like noisy. a cow like hit the roof. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fly from the local farm. Oh god, no. Yeah, it, it's Germany, mate. I was, I was on the on the drive down here. Yeah. As I said, I told Joe I was driving down here. I was like, that's birds trying to get no, fly and everything else it's just sort of like a gust of wind and a bird flew straight into like a telegraph pole and just burst into flames and fell to the ground <laughs> and I was like oh well that, that died yeah <laughs> it's ridiculous it, it is Germany mad and there's a it's uh, like 60 mile an hour winds at the mm, moment it is Germany mad and I think the only thing like even not, I've, I've even like seen a cow like just literally like lean forward into the wind <laughs> It's like, moo, moo, moo. <laughs> yeah well at the moment I was, I was surprised um I'm not massively into football, but uh, I know there was football games called off last week. The Man City game, I believe. Um, uh, yeah, one, one match was, yeah. it was too windy. And I'm surprised they're going now. It's crazy. Like, it, was, the, it was so windy today. Mm. And there was games down in Southampton, which is one of the most windy areas. So I'm shocked it went ahead. Yeah, it's gone ahead. I think it's, it's, I think it's finished now. Yeah, it definitely has. I, I, think, it was, I think it was one all. Burnley, uh, one, one, one Southampton, one Burnley. I'll tell you this. Go- oh, not in other news, too much. I, have you heard about what's happened to... Uh, Man City. Man City. Oh, no. You, you mentioned something yeah. uh, happened to No, Burnley 1-2-1. One, one. For everyone who cares. Burnley 2-1? Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah, so well, Man, Southampton to win. Man City yep. have ju- <laughs> have been caught breaking the rules. Okay. This happened ages ago, right? Is that right? Yes. Well, they've been caught breaking the rules before and they kind of, no one really cared and everything else. But this is the first time they've had something's actually happened. They've been caught and everything yeah. else. I believe um, they've been caught for... Uh, Breaking fair play rules okay. by using their sponsor Etihad, which is owned by the same person. You can't have sponsors from in house. Okay, that makes sense. So the same people that own them is a sponsor. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So basically, it's a way he can invest into the club constantly and everything else. Yep. Which is not fair play because you know, the idea of fair play rules you can only spend as much as the club makes. Yes, I was getting told this at work the other day. So it's, it's the amount of profit they bring in is what they can spend. Yeah. So larger clubs can spend more than smaller clubs. Yes. Which sounds silly, but I I don't know. Well, yeah, I, I don't know yeah, financial fair play and everything else. It's not really fair play. Yeah, it can't. It, the idea is to stop people just buying football clubs and going, aha, I can invest all this money and just yeah. vomit money into a club. Which I'll I'll, I'll I'll talk about in a bit. But yeah, basically they've had a uh, been breaking for, for breaking fair play rules. They've got been fined thirty million. Okay, sounds like quite a lot. It is a lot, but with Man City's money, it's, it's kind of like it's, it's like a tickle to the balls, really. Okay, it's not, it's not really anything. Yeah, 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 just a little don't don't do that again kind of money. Yeah, it's a slap thing. Yeah, yeah I think that's, that's nice. really damaging, especially because the main this is their main goal. They've been banned two years from the Champions League. Champions League. Yeah, the, the, the league in Europe. Oh yeah, so is that that's the bigger one? That's of the, the two. Bi- yeah, that's the one they, they really really want to win. They, they literally this is them. That's their main goal at the moment. Yeah, is to win the Champions and League. And they've been banned for two years. They've been banned for two. Years. So this so if they don't win it this year. Yeah. They have to wait basically three years before they compete in it again. Wow. Oh, so they can be... They're in it this year? They're in it this year. Okay. They're not kicked out. They're not kicked out. They're, although they are playing Real Madrid. Oh, okay. Which are, uh, which, which, are, which are the most successful European club in the in the tournament. So... Um, yep. And they are a really good side. They have, they have a very solid defence and Man City don't. All oh, right. Well, and they've lost to Norwich. <laughs> Did they lose to Norwich? They're near the beginning of the season. Oh, well, good. Love that. Exactly. And they've lost. They lost a couple of like really weird games. You kind of go, yeah. Like, it's raising an eyebrow. Like, mm. 
Yeah, what's going like, on? What's going on here? Yeah. That ain't good. If, yeah. you're, if you're Man City, you, you, you know, if I was Pep Guardiola, I'd be like, we shouldn't be losing these matches. Yeah. Like, well, well for, in the moment, because I mean, as I said, I think people can tell I'm not a huge uh, football fan. No. Um, but Liverpool are, are undefeated and, and are running to, to almost have an undefeated season. Am I right? They're, yeah, they're... that is it. That, they're, that is it. They're almost going to be undefeated. And it, Gibby, the only other team that's done that is, is Arsenal. Is Arsenal, yeah. Uh, in case people don't, for those who care, I am a Tottenham fan, so I, it pains me to talk about how successful Arsenal have been for the last since I've been born really I mean it's, it's uh, but yeah they've been it's quite depressing they, they, they've gone off the rails fan? a bit right they're, they're, well, Arsenal yeah because they had to get a new manager in uh, no, basically um, Wenger was Wenger was getting a bit old the, the Wenger, Wenger was, uh, I just checked I and uh, Liverpool have won today's game as well yeah. against Norwich was there a question yeah I was going to say it's 1-0 was, was there any doubt yeah <laughs> Hopefully not. Um, I'm a bit pissed off though because Fantasy League I tripled my captain against Salah's on fire he's going to score he scored nothing I got three points and that's it so I oh got nine my God, no. I wasted my triple captain I did that when Liverpool had a double week on Mane and uh, Mane got injured in the first game uh, yeah. in like 20 minutes so I got three points as well so if that makes you feel any better <sighs> I'm also out of triple captain yeah well I have to try and do, I have to try and think of something to catch you and Mickey up in the face yes. anyway but uh, back to um, <laughs> back to uh, back to actually uh, we ramble uh, Back to our, the actual Arsenal thing. Yeah, uh, Wenger, Wenger's probably the, one of the most, if um, in my opinion, he's, sec- he's the second most successful manager in English football. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's Alex Ferguson. He was Man United. He was Man United. He is the most successful in uh, Arsenal. Wenger. Arsenal Wenger put Arsenal on the map and made Arsenal really the traditional, the traditional big club in London. I, I'm a Spurs fan. I hate saying it, but it, you know, you had you had a great manager who knew what he was doing and everything else. It was, it was you know. If you was an Arsenal fan during those period, you must be laughing at us ridiculously. Yeah, yeah. I think he got a bit old. His tactics got a bit old. He did some very some strange things, and he fell out. He fell out of favour for the fans. I, I, I will say this: that way, yeah, the, I, the, I the, the way the Arsenal fans him. treated Wenger the, in his last season was damn right awful. Oh really? Yeah, I oh, know no, a lot the, of the man, him, right? this this man deserves a statue. Yeah, outside, outside the Emirates, and he does. He, he literally literally does deserve a statue outside the Emirates and everything yeah. else. Like Tottenham fans are competing uh, Pochettino. We didn't yeah. win us anything for for a statue and everything else. There's a small push there. There's literally there's Arsenal Wenger. Literally, you know, how many FA Cups did that guy win? He got us. He got you. He got Arsenal to the Champions League um, final. He he was the first team in the Premier League ever to uh, win with no um no losses and everything else. Yeah, it did do a lot of draws, however. But he did um. So what was it called? The Immortals? Is that right? That's uh, what they were unbeatables. Afterwards. The unbeatables. All oh, right. Okay. But um, yeah, very very good. But I think Liverpool are on track to doing that and doing it better because I've only yeah more wins. They've right? only drew one. Uh, is that right? Yeah, they only drawn once in the Premier League so far. It's oh my god, I thought it was more than that, but yeah, no, I think it's only once. That's crazy. Which that is, is, it's, actually, great. it's actually crazy and everything. Yeah. Else. And they won the um, the Club World Cup, mm. um, which was earlier this year. Yeah, I've only just year. got into and, uh, football sort of because work talk about it so much. Like my, my work talk about it all the time, mm. which is I mean it's quite fun. I, I I've got into it more from now. I can see why people get excited about it. I've never been a huge fan of yeah, this year. Really. I, I, the more the more you get into it, the more you start caring. Mm. Obviously, but yeah. I mean, it, yeah. So, yeah, but Man City. Yeah, but the thing is, this this is kind of a, the Man City thing. It, it's good because hopefully, I mean, that the next it, it's it's good as a top Spurs fan because we're trying to get top four so we can end up ending the Champions League yes. this season, which we kind of need. Well, we really really want I think we do need actually for, for financial reasons and stuff like that mm-hmm. so you get like a bonus if you qualify okay um, that's nice it is nice and um, so we're really tracing but now, now they're banned from it it means that the top five so anyone who's literally in the top eight in the Premier League can get oh, into wow. the can, okay. can get into the Champions so it means Sheffield United because they're second right now right is that correct so yeah, they're yeah, second but yeah, they're they been are banned second. they've been banned so which means that it'll be top Liverpool, five. Leicester and Chelsea are ah, qualified it's okay whoever right. gets fifth will get into the thing so it could Amazing. be it could be Spurs it yeah. could be Sheffield United oh, yeah. Sheffield United are doing extremely yeah. well yeah it could be anyone in the top eight I, yeah. I would say can literally do it so um, Man United can still get it mm. um, I think Wolves might get it as well and I wouldn't and I, as, as, as a Spurs fan I wouldn't mind if, if United got it I'll be a little bit peed off because I mean they've had their time in the spotlight give the Get back down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get back down there. They have enough money to come that'd be, back another time. Yeah, that'd be sick. I, I, well, I hope I'm quite happy with Sheffield United because that, that'll be like a great, that'll be a great story for sport. Like just yeah. promoted, 
Was it this season they were promoted? Yeah, I mean, this season they're promoted. Yeah. And they're generally quite a big club as well in England, yeah. within England anyway. Yeah. Not in Europe, but they're quite a big club within England. It's funny, in my, in my office, there's one Sheffield United and one Sheffield Wednesday supporter. I didn't know Sheffield Wednesday was a club. Oh, I didn't know Sheffield United was a club. I'm not going to lie. Um, <laughs> but they're so funny. All the time, they're just like, oh, how, how are you doing? And the Sheffield United guys are like, well, yeah, we're, we're fifth in the Premier League, doing really well. Mm. Sheffield Wednesday is losing every game in the Champions League and yeah. right near the bottom of the table. <laughs> yeah. Sheffield Wednesday is meant to be a really good. I think they're one of the oldest clubs. Yeah, they're very traditional. Yeah, they've got like a proper yeah, they're legacy. One of, yeah, they're one of the, um, again, a, a very traditional club. Yeah. That should really be in the Premier League. Leeds should be in, uh, in the Premier League as well. Leeds should really be. I don't think in Sheffield the, Wednesday should be in the Premier League, considering the bottom of the Champions League. <laughs> oh no, they are. No, they are. What well, they are, what they are. But yeah. I mean, traditionally speaking, if you think about it, they should be. Uh, they should be big enough to the amount of fan base and everything else. They should be. They, they oh, should yeah, be able. They, sh- they, they should be able to get in the Premier League and everything else. They can easily make a push and everything else. Okay. Well, they're just, we'll they're to, just we'll to see, I guess. Oh, I think, time. anyway. I think they haven't been in it for like 40 years or something. No, it's not going to happen. It's, it, yeah. it, will ne- it will never happen. It will never happen. Yeah, yeah. saying they should it's be, like they they should it, be in the Premier League. It will not. never, ever happen. Yeah. Leeds, one day will happen. It will yeah. happen one day. Yeah, yeah. Because Leeds definitely Leeds used to be in the top four, regular regular top four and everything else. Oh, yeah? Mm. Yeah. I, I, and then basically they got bankrupt. <laughs> and then it started over again. Sucks to be you. Damn right. Well, I mean, I'm also a Florentina uh, Italian. I have. I su- yes. I, I might, I, do I have to explain how many teams in our sport? Because that's scared to say. We, let's get. This can is do. Piss yeah. Off. You what? Florentina. I okay, my first. Um, my first. Dagnum Redbridge. I got. Get, got, get, got Tottenham. Get, yes. And the last one. Uh, right. Basically, is it in the UK or is it not? No. Nah. Nah, I can't. I can't. I only support two UK teams. Oh I'm, wait, I'm, it's the Spanish one. No, the Italian one. It's no, you already no, done the Florentina. Italian one. I don't know. I don't know. It's a German Leipzig. Oh yes. Right, because the, the, the story behind all of it is that I'm a Spurs fan through and through. It's, it's my Spurs is my first first love and everything else. That's my first fan team and everything else. I mean, so if, if you're asking what happens when Spurs fight play Leipzig in the Champions League, I'll be supporting Spurs. And if Spurs lose, I will be upset because I am a Spurs fan first. <laughs> right? That's how it They're works. They're number one. They are number one. They are the top of the list. Yeah. Then it goes Dagenham Redbridge, and Dagenham Redbridge is number two mainly because oh, uh, my un- great uncle used to work for them. He used to work in the financial part of them. Yep. Everything else, and uh, basically, it was too expensive to go and see Tottenham. Like, Tottenham was the first match I ever saw live, and everything else with my dad and everything else. But I mean, I couldn't actually. We couldn't go there every week or every every odd month and everything else. It was like going to see Tottenham was like once a year, once every two years thing. Okay, yeah, yeah, big tickets, very yeah, expensive. Exactly. Dagenham Rivers is a lot cheaper. A because they were a smaller club. Where are they now? Which league are they in? Do you know? Uh, National League. So like, no, not even they're not technically in professional football. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah cool. I was didn't have a clue. Mm. Um, but um, yeah. I mean, they were, um, and then we also got a discount because my uncle used to work there. Cool. So there, so we used to go there. We had a season ticket. We used to go there once a Cute. week and everything else. And we used to go there all the time and everything else. I was a mascot for them when you walked in on the, on the pitch and everything else. Oh so. yeah, what well, held like one of the players' hands? Yeah, we walked in. Yeah, oh, exactly. that's cute. I think they actually were in League One at the time as well. So they were in the actually playing uh, in professional football. Oh, okay. So they they used to be up there, but they're yeah, just they used to be up there and everything else. They're not. They're yeah. not a big club. And I, I'm happy to say they're not a very big club and everything else. They yeah. uh, they the way that they probably should be. Although I would like, I would love for them to do better. And, Come up and and play some uh, big games in the in the FA Cup and everything else. But I would love it. That'd be sick. I would absolutely love it. Have you have your two teams playing off together? Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I'll still support Tottenham first. Yeah, if Tottenham and then. Would that and be Dagenham like your dream though? Would you want them to play together or not? Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it, it'll, Tottenham and Tottenham should annihilate them. I say yeah. should because they lost to a was it Chesterfield <laughs> in the in the Calipuru <laughs> Cup, and it was like, what happened? Yeah, Tottenham. Would they play like a B team or a C team or a D team? <laughs> was it surely I'm, it wasn't their, their number one team? I think it might, I actually think it might have been. I oh, really God. hope I don't know because I basically saw the result. I just presumed mm. it was like the under twenty ones or something like that. But yeah, yeah, I don't know. It actually might be. <laughs> It was which is even more which, which is, yeah it's generally about I must be it must have been like a junior team it must have been I I can't imagine that I mean considering who they play all the if time they're, is, they're if, up if there it, if it like is if it is at eighteen there's gonna be so many Arsenal and Chelsea fans just laughing at me yeah <laughs> yeah and I'll accept it because you know I love how you, you're like oh I'm such a football fan but again you kind of like leave it out you're like yeah it, I'm you're a casual football fan watch every so often more than you know what's going on here all the time uh, I know people that watch just every game every weekend like. <laughs> Well, no, I have other things to do. Yeah, <laughs> I, I agree with that. But I know some I people. Have other things. Yeah, some people. Things, no, some people have things that. as well. So, 
the other thing that put the other the other thing that puts me on football. I'll get back to this, my teams in a, in a minute. Yeah, the yeah. other thing that puts me on football is like it's like I like talking about football. and understand the you know, positions and stuff like that to a certain extent. Okay, as much as the average person on the street does. If I actually could make money off, if I actually knew what I was talking about, I'll be on Sky Sports earning money. <laughs> Or being a manager and earning a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> not, not on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> in a wooden shed in the middle of a storm. Damn right. And this is how we're going to earn all our money. <laughs> oh, God. Our hopes are very low. <laughs> I really, really hope. <laughs> anyway, it's our plan. Please, please listen to this. <laughs> is it is it is it more fun if I beg? You, you, sound, you sound desperate. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Help me. I need money. I'm going to Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> Coronavirus. <laughs> I mean, sorry, I mean, got, just throwing out taglines now. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, but Exciting stuff. what was I talking about? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, about no, the thing you supported, it's, it's, I think. Oh, yeah, teams I support. Yeah, going well, then the, uh, after Dagenham Bridge, it's Florentina. Mm-hmm. The reason why I support Florentina is that I've been to Florence twice. Yep, and um, I just I, I'm, I, I love the city. My favorite, probably my favorite city. Food's it's, amazing there. What is it? You could go anywhere in Italy and the food would probably be good damn good. I think, I think, I think you have to go out of your way in Italy to eat shit food. <laughs> you really, yeah. really do. I mean, there's McDonald's out there, though, isn't there? Cheap McDonald's. Do you think even the Italian McDonald's is better than here? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. That's, that's big claims. I, I, I think, actually think like, the, I actually, the king of fish I are out had, there and it was bad. Well, the, well, you, well, you had McDonald's in Italy? Yeah. What's wrong with you? Well, I was poor. <laughs> there's no change. Uh, I'm still poor. <laughs> I've, got, I've, got, I've got a story in... Florence, Florence story in a bit that yeah. I, I can talk about. Yeah, sounds good. I mean, um, I found basically I found another city and I became a fan of the club. Right, mm. Leipzig is another story. We get we get to that eventually. Nice. All right. Cool. But the Florentina story. Oh I yeah. Was, uh, the first out. time the oh. first time I visited was um with my uh, with a college. I was studying my course stone masonry. Yes. And You're a stone um, mason now. I am a stone mason. Um, big rock, small rock. Big rock, <laughs> big brick, small brick. <laughs> You're a dick. <laughs> <laughs> but um. Yeah, I, I and simplify uh, his job a little bit too much. You you do, you love it though. Oh yeah, that's, I think that's what you what said you, to me what? on your college course. You were like, "Oh, this is what I'm going to be doing," and I was like, "What is stonemasonry?" You you were like, "Big brick, small brick," and I was like, well, 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 "Yeah, all right." At the time, you, ha- you, you start the off having to square off a piece of stone, yeah. and basically, I was like, <laughs> and you and, and, and I was trying to explain it in detail, and yeah. I was like, "So what do you so it's in, in a simple terms, what are you doing?" I mean, big big rock, small rock. And you went, "Oh, okay, 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 cool, cool, big rock, small rock." Yeah, yeah, that was it, and, and it was then, like. And that came to brick for some reason. Big brick, oh, small yeah, brick. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think I just took it as bricks. I just thought you were building houses. Like, you were like, I make stone mostly. I, I do churches. So I was like, okay, where he makes the bricks for the churches. <laughs> I know that's not quite exactly what you do, yeah. but that's anyway. what my mind went to. And that's what I thought you did. Anyway. And, um, but yeah, and I was there and everything else. And was, well, I was with a bunch of guys who had some free time. And, yep. and the idea, we, we get, yeah, to see Florence, we got given a building to do research on. Yep. And everything else. I uh, had a tour guy thing who came with a map, and we had to go and get food. And I was like, "Guys, we got we got to go somewhere and, and uh, get some decent food and everything else." I'm like, yeah, we get eat McDonald's. I'm like, yeah. "Why? It, it, this is Italy." Yeah, you this question is... me. You eat McDonald's in Italy, and you're doing the same. No, 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 no. <laughs> they went to Italy. I, I, was, I only went there for a beer because you had a, you can have a beer in, in a yeah yeah. You got, so you I, get, got, uh, I got a Peroni. Yeah, you can get a what's. It, uh, Blonde Moratini or whatever it is. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. I remember being, seen, being able to get those there. Yeah, you can get... Um, yeah, so... Oh, I had a beer. And I was like, so... Um, what? Ha- so have you got maps? And like, no, do you want to have a look at my map so you know where you're going? And everything? He went, no, no, no. It's somewhere in that direction. Perfect. And I was like, what? He was like, yeah, it's uh, somewhere in that direction. And I was like, no, you... This is a foreign country. A city you've never been to before. Yep. And you don't speak their language. Perfect. I think you know where you are right now. I can point it to you on the... You can even... T- it shows you... It's, unfortunately, the map I had literally had McDonald's on thing. Like McDonald's. <laughs> it's a very tourist map. It's very, it's very touristy map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I was like, so that's McDonald's. You can literally find it. Goes, no, no, no. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Anything else. I mean, all right, if you're sure, went, yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be, it'll be cool. Don't worry about it. It's, it, we, it's not a big city, which it isn't, but they're tourists. So never mind. Yeah. Anyway, so they walked off. I, w- I walked down the street. I had literally the best sandwich... I have ever had in my life. It, don't when you go yeah. to um, don't when in, in, like, you walk past the place and you kind of like, and you're so you're so hungry. Yeah, yeah. And you go like, I'm gonna take my chance. You look at the place like, man, I'm gonna get food poisoning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm just, it looks I, just dodgy. Uh, it looks so dodgy. I was like, I ha- I'm gonna get food poisoning. I just need to eat. Yeah, I don't yeah. care. I had this thing. Uh, the thing I was like, mate, you put salami and stuff. I like put all the st- things in. I was like, oh man, this is gonna be awful. Yeah. Get into it. Best sandwich I've ever had in my life. <laughs> It was so good. And literally, yeah. I literally like took one bite into it. I turned around and I was like, 
you sir are god <laughs> and, he, and, he was, and he was there with like you know like a greasy top all stained and with bare belly like with belly button sticking out of hair and he was like uh, 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 what? Sure, most of them speak english out there don't they they're really good yeah but this one didn't i, I, yeah, went, yeah, I, I went down a re- i went down a really bad that obvious back route yeah yeah, yeah. just to find out because i usually saw like a sign like boom d- daddy when i saw the sign for food i was like food yeah so i ran down there but i think uh like it, uh, well, Florence, as I said, I think it's the, the best food around. And I think I've had the best pizza of my life there as well. I went to a, a restaurant called Pinocchio's near the main square. And I had a seafood pizza. And poor. I, I totally agree with you. I think it was funny because you go to restaurants and there's busy restaurants. And I, this one was dead. No one else was in there at all. Just me and Jordan sat down. They're the ones you should go to. A hundred percent. I agree. Really? I was amazed because we went to the busy one. And they what? were like, oh, it's like a 15 minute wait. Mm. And we were like... Like to get a seat, not even to get your foot ordering. And we were like, nah. So we'll go st- sit at that one. And oh, it was just so good. Yeah. It's no, amazing my, out there. My general advice, if anyone goes to Italy, is don't eat where the tourists eat. Because they, they don't... It's not, yeah. But it's not going to be as good as where the locals yeah. eat. The locals... I- Italians people really do care about their food. It's really important. Yeah. I feel to them. More so than it is in England. I mean, we, we, do, we, like, having, we like having good food. We like having good food and everything else. But in Definitely. Italy, it's more of a social thing. It's like... How we go like oh, let's go to a pub and have a have a pint and everything else. Yeah. For them it'll be like oh let's go to let's let's go have lunch let's go have dinner or something. And uh, yeah. you haven't promised you might mate. I was just uh, I I bashed it and I just wanted to make sure it was still recording. <laughs> okay, I didn't cool. want the cable to fall out. <laughs> but so, um, I'm sorry if I just it, bashed the mic a little bit. But, yeah, <laughs> it's gonna sound but, horrible. <laughs> but yeah um yeah so anyway, I had this sandwich and she got to uh, the building that I got given. Yep. Which was a uh, San Alonso, which was uh, yep. designed by the same guy who created Dome. Um, on the floor, on the um, Duomo Florentina, okay. Or the Florentino Duomo. Don't know which one it is. That is that a building that I should know. Is that a famous building? Yeah, it's the one with the big fucking dome in it, mate. Okay. Duomo. Dome. Duomo. Duomo. All right. I think um, I've. It's, you know, it's, 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 is it one of? It's probably one it's of the Clans cathedral. On a, it's, it's the Assassin's cathedral. Creed. Yeah. Revolution. Yeah. I do. Probably. I do know that huge dome from that only. Yeah. I think, the, the big, the big fuck off dome. That, yeah. That one. The, the most, the most, one of the most important buildings in probably the most important building in Florence. Okay. Uh. Yeah. That one. Yeah. That one. Okay. Anyway, uh, he he designed that dome because there's a story to the dome which I won't bore with people with. But basically, they didn't really. They went. We build the building, and when we get to the dome, we figure it out then. <laughs> 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 which is probably the most Italian attitude. Is like, we build a dome this big, but sir. We don't know how to build a dome that big. Yeah, don't worry about it. We, there'll be someone else's problem. We'll be, we'll, we'll be dead by that point. Exactly. <laughs> well, we'll build the structure and say, dome got to go here. <laughs> dome someone here, else question that. mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't, please insert. <laughs> uh, he was only figured it all out and everything else. I Amazing. think his name, I think it's a B. I, I'm going to go Bosch Telly, but I don't, I don't know Bosch that's Telly true. Domi. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But no, anyway, I, I, I wrote a thing and literally as I arrived, my phone went off. Yep. And it was, uh, I'm going to say his name. His name was, one was Joe, one was Dan. Yeah. And the phone went off and I was, I was like, hello. He was like, yeah, uh, I'm lost. I was like, yeah, okay. Well, so, uh, right. Because I'm at, I'm at this, I'm, I'm at here. There's a building. There's a, there's a, there's a red wall and, uh, and, 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 a, and, uh, and, and a taxi. Where do I go from here? I'm like, I don't know. I don't, this Can you just ask to go to the Domo? Is, is that where you were? No, no, I wasn't. I was at the Domo. I was at a different church. Oh, I was sorry. At, okay. I was at a different church. Oh, sorry. He else. helped design the Domo. The yeah, same yeah, person yeah, did yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, everything else. So I was at I was at my I was at my building. That I had to do research on and do a project on everything else. Yeah. And he was like, "So yeah, give, give me directions on the phone. I'm at this place. I'm at, I'm at, I'm at, I'm at there's there's a street. There's a few there's a few bikes and there's a red car. Give me help. Give me directions. I'm oh, like, the red car was and, very essential to know. <laughs> and I was like, and I was like, I, I need I, I at least need a street name. Do you know what street no, street you want? It was like, uh, hang on. Can you ask the taxi driver? And he, he didn't, there's no taxis. Didn't you say there was a taxi? No, no, there's no, there's no. It, 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 no, it was in the bit where you walk around. There's no. Okay. Oh, well, I think he was. I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I right. didn't. Anyway, I was kind of like, Sorry. I was a bit annoyed because I was like, you, I offered you a map. Yeah. I offered you directions. And he was like, no, no, I can't find a street name. But we, we got, he gave me some other thing. I'm, I'm near this building. And I was like, great. <laughs> Well, well, yeah. I don't know where you I are. I know though. every building in Florence, of yeah. course. I was, I was, I was, but it wasn't like it wasn't like a pool. I was like, I'm, I'm near this building. It's got like a, a red door or a blue door. And he, 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 he gave me like the thick details of like people's buildings and stuff like that. And I'm like, I need, I need, I need a landmark. I need, you need to be near a landmark. Yeah, yeah. Can you, can you go to the river? If you go to the river, I may be able to help you yeah. from there. Yeah, yeah. He was like, but I don't know where the river is. I'm like, are you on your own? 
Yeah. Uh, you'll see that, mate. See you, bye. And they've heard from you again. They could be both dead for one. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I saw, the I, that we just never saw each other. No, no. I saw, I saw, them, I saw them later that night and everything yeah, else. Yeah. That was... Um, so they didn't come and check out the building or did they check it out later? No, no. I, I think... I actually think I, I actually think that one of them didn't actually find the building. They're like, so how was your building? I don't know. Never found it. People, mate. People amaze me. I, yeah. It's not that hard to move around countries, honestly. No. I, I, I guess maybe some of us are just more savvy with with transport and things mm. like that it's um because yeah transport around i love italy and we me and my friend have, have traveled around it we, we flew into rome went to florence then went to venice transport around there is just so easy like you can find anything so easily again there's maps everywhere and the people are so friendly like it's it's ridiculous i don't yeah, know how don't, people get lost yeah you, you well, in cities you have to really all. it depends where you are i mean you have to, you have to i feel like in, in italy especially the, the places where people tend to go like florence milan yeah. rome venice you have to go out of your way to get lost 100% like, like this person yeah. I have no map I just walk down roads and see what happens oh no I don't know where I'm going even with that though I feel like five minutes of wandering in one direction you'll be like oh cool I'm I'm now here and you'd know where it is it's like a famous point or there'll be people that would help you yeah it's it, I hard mean, to get lost in these cities I feel yeah it's very I, I thought, yeah especially since Florence is very small yeah it, it's very very small Florence it's it's very very small I mean um yeah, but that's, that's the thing that happened. Mm. Also, on that thing, I got on the on the last night. I got so drunk. Mm. Like, this is a story. So, I always love these stories. This is how so, I like it. So I got so drunk. This is what I want more of. And um, and uh, we was at this. Uh, they don't have pubs. They have Irish bars. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, or the Irish pub. They don't have. They don't. We, no, we. It, it's kind of weird. They don't call them like give them funky names and everything else. They're just called Irish pubs. Yeah. Or Irish bars and everything else. Yeah. So we, we was at one of these Irish bars near near, the, near a hotel, and we met. Uh, and and we met some uh, some some Americans. Okay. It was very nice. Yeah. And we're like, oh, so what are you what are you doing? Goes, oh, we're we're at the university. I'm like, oh, nice. And we're doing there. You know, and I was like, so how can you do that? Oh, we're Catholics. Okay. Like, oh, sweet, 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 sweet. Short story, long story short, they weren't very good Catholics. <laughs> and uh, anyway, we got me and my mates went back to there. We had a, we had our fill. Yep. They had their fill. Yep. They <laughs> <laughs> certainly got their fill. And um, walked back and I was like, oh mate, we, I'm shattered. And I, got, I don't know what time I'm walking. We're like, man, we gotta get up. I none of us are packed. So all three of your mates got with three different Catholic girls, or is there, or guys? Someone judge. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was. It was. No, all, all, yeah. So you like, and two others. Car. Well, yeah, they all came from one place. Three. Three girls. Yeah. That's great. That uni. It's unlucky. With it. Yeah, I mean, it's lucky. With oh, no, 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 no. Right, it was, it, it was, it was, it was just the right place. spot in the right time. Yeah, it was yeah. like, boom. Great, Paul. Great. And I, mate, we, mate, they were looking for it and we were like, fuck it, we're on holiday. Yeah. Well, yeah, we're on holiday. Yeah, you're <laughs> on holiday. Yeah, god damn, you're right. You know, it was a, it, it was an educational trip, but sorry, we was on holiday. <laughs> If I get sent to Scunthorpe, I spend them on holiday. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Anywhere that's yeah. not your home, it's Any- holiday. Exactly. Yeah. And so um, we got we got back. And we're like, mate, we got. It's literally like we haven't packed anything. And I know oh, we'll um, we we'll set three alarms. We'll, I think we we'll set end up setting four alarms. We like ask for a wake up call, and we had like three three phones. We set all the phones up and everything else and stuff yep. like that. So like, cool, cool, cool. We set for everything. <laughs> literally, they were boom, 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 boom. Guys, the bus is here. We've yeah, got to yeah, go yeah. now. I literally leapt out of bed. Somehow, to this day, I did not forget a single thing. Oh. And I don't know how. Every, was everything like spread, like all over the place? Or did you have everything mostly was, in a bag anyway? It, was, it wasn't already in the bag. I, do, you did, I did actually have to like shove stuff and it was, yeah, yeah. And everything else and stuff like that. But it was... It was reasonably organised. There's a few stuff on the floor, a few stuff here and there, and everything yeah, else. Yeah. I think I might have. I think I, I think I left all my toiletries. To be fair, I, okay. think, I, I think I think I just got in trouble bag. I was like, uh, not done any of that. Just sit the uh, yeah. got, like, empty toilet bag. Like we got toiletries at home. Who cares? Boom. I think the only thing I took was my razor. I was like, not need my razor. Yep. Shove that in there. That was the only thing that went. I love that. Um, in the audio podcast, that's gonna sound great. He's like, I got I got my razor <laughs> in the bag. <laughs> Oh, what noise is again. that? Like, yeah, like what, were you putting the head on the razor? What was no, that? I'm taking the head off because I've used it. Ah, uh, <laughs> in the in the bag. <laughs> That's it. We've done this so many times. That I, I love piss so many people off. Anyway, yeah. but yeah, we. <laughs> Five times. Carry on. Carry on. Um, it's far, far now. Every time we go, take a drink. <laughs> <laughs> it's the rule. <laughs> but yeah, um. Yeah, and we all jumped in the thing, and I was like, I'm convinced. I'm, I'm convinced to this day that I've left something behind, but I, I don't know what it is. I, but I'm pretty certain I did not Hopefully leave a single thing. Just left it for the maid. Was like, Pro- Here you go. Probably. But yeah, I did not but leave a single thing. Um, but yeah. Yeah. 
Um, Sounds exciting. Yeah. And for the record, if you're if football fans like, why do I support Leipzig? I put a bet on them when they first got promoted if they came into the top four. Yep. They got in the top four, so I turned a uh, fiver into 800 quid. Oh, I can see why you'd support them. And plus, I found, and plus and they wear money. white, Tottenham wear white, and they're also the one of the most hated clubs in in, uh, in Germany. Oh, okay. So I like I like to I go to Germany like I support Leipzig and watch their watch the hatred feel in their eyes. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm that guy. Deal with it. Deal I with it. it. <laughs> well, so we're winning in the Bundesliga. Deal with it. Love it. <laughs> the only yeah, it's the only it's the only team out of all those teams I support that actually should do means to be well this season. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. Oh yeah. yeah. So I, I was gonna say. I mean, that was we 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 went off quite a lot of what's everyone been up to this week. Um, I kind of wanted to just say. Yeah, like what did you get up to? We had Valentine's Day come up this week. Was there anything else? Anything else interesting that came up? Um, no, but I have got a few questions for you. I did, oh, you I got have questions pop- for me? I've got questions. Oh, just questions in general that we're going to talk about. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting hosted myself here. This Boom! Great. I love this. Well, I mean, worst I, or best date on Valentine's Day? Worst or best date on Valentine's yeah, Day? Yeah. Well, well, what's your, okay, first of all, what's your best one? What's, what's the best one? What's the best? What's the best date? date? I've ever had Valentine's Day Valentine's in hand. Day. I don't really do Valentine's Day. That okay, much. what's your best date in general then? My best date in general. Um, I've never been someone that really goes on dates too much. I I really. That's because you're single. Yeah, well, I'm single now. <laughs> God, damn. All right, mate. Um, <laughs> yeah, no. Um, I don't right know. in the feelings. Yeah. Oh, right in the feels. Uh, the I don't know. I I remember the, well, the all right, I, I don't really know your best or worst one. I mean, this was probably worst overall. The first date I ever went on with my um, my most recent ex, yeah, which is Kat. Uh, she, Hello, Kat, if you're listening. <laughs> I somewhat doubt it. Uh, the, yeah, the most recent, uh, the first date we ever went on, I took her to a film. Oh God, what was the film? She absolutely hated it. Absolutely every second of it. I took her out. I mean, never go to uh, a film on your first date anyway, lads. This is a horrible mistake. Um, but I watched a lot of films. And I mean, we'd seen each other a little bit anyway. This was We'd seen each other uh, for a few mm. times before. But this was the actual first date. Like, we'd gone out to the clubs um, at the SU because we were at university together. But we went out and saw, I think it was uh, Gone Girl. I think that's what it was. That's not a good film for a date. Yeah, well, I, actually... didn't, I didn't know what it was. And I, I just, I love good cinema. Yeah, well, everyone likes good. Yeah. Who, does, who doesn't like watching a good film? Yeah, well, people don't. Weird people. You're all weirdos if you don't enjoy a good film. <laughs> just calling you out now. <laughs> cinema just is a late old audience. If you, like good, you don't, if you don't like good cinema, you're just a freak. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, pathetic. But Get you're welcome to cinema. But, but you're welcome to keep listening to our podcast. Yeah, exactly. But, <laughs> if you if you don't like good cinema, but you do like good podcasts, then we we forgive you, or bad podcasts, <laughs> however way. Um, anyway, no. Whatever, the, whatever the, you call this, we accept it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the the first date um, we went to, I saw we when saw Gone Girl. Cat ha- absolutely hated every second of it. Um, she went to the cinema. Like it, I think there's a horrible scene where someone like slit someone's throat, and she was really squeamish. Obviously, right. she then cuddled up to me, um, so that was fine. But then at the end, she was like, yeah, I didn't enjoy that at all. And I was like, I'm so sorry. Um, and we went and walked, walked back, walking back home. And we uh, went and laid on a roundabout and just looked up at the stars. And oh, so you totally she a good was, one. yeah, and she, she really enjoyed that. And it was kind of, it was like a really grassy roundabout, not just a cement one for anyone that's thinking, like, what, are you, are you insane? It was like grassy with flowers all around, like, not the huge one. Just laid in a mini roundabout with yeah. cars, like driving half on <laughs> yeah. you, like, Ugh. <laughs> yeah we're not just trying to trying to die um they yeah and and she really enjoyed that and she remembers that really well and i, I well i, I you we spoke about it afterwards yeah yeah <laughs> you hope she remembers it, well. it very well yeah and um that's probably the most memorable date i've ever been on okay uh so i think that hopefully that fulfills your your question there what about you best worst is there a good one that you remember best or worst um worst date worst date i've ever been on yeah oh this is I love this. Was probably the f- one of my first dates I ever went on, which kind of yeah. makes sense. We went to see um, it was me and a girl called Beth from prim- uh, from secondary school. Calling you out, Beth. Primary school. So I went in primary school, secondary school. And I went on dates in primary school. Did you? Yeah, I had my oh. first kiss in primary school. Lad, <laughs> I started young. Yeah, that sounds really creepy. I mean, <laughs> we'd be like, lads, go on, you nine-year-old, get with some other nine-year-old. Yeah, it does sound a bit weird. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway. Um, secondary school. Se- secondary school. <laughs> Much better. Yeah, girl called Beth, and uh, we went on a date. We went to see Over the Hedge. In Over the Hedge, other oh, the squirrel thing. Yeah, 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 I remember that. It was really awkward because, um, of course, my mum had to drop me off. 
Because <laughs> okay, in, on the, I was that age and everything yeah. else. Is what else? Anything? How old were you? Are we talking like fifteen? We're talking eleven. What's the? I was in secondary school, so it's not eleven. That's year seven. Year seven's eleven, isn't it? No, it's thirteen, isn't it? No, it's eleven. Eleven. Yeah. That must have been twelve then or something. Must so year eight. No, I was in, in, yeah, I was in year seven. Year seven. So you're eleven or twelve. Yeah. I was, okay. I, 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 I was my. I was a bit older, so I was, uh, that's why I'm saying twelve. Okay. I don't know. Get on with the story. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so we'll go with twelve. Oh. We'll go with twelve. So your mum drops you off. Yeah, mum dropped me off and everything else, and uh, and uh, her friend was there. She, her friend was third weaning to make sure and basically was like I was, it was really weird I was like I, I was expecting just to be the two of us yeah and her friend Hazel who's a very nice woman she's yeah. a nice nice lady and everything else I we did you take them both on a date pretty, yeah pretty much it was really biz- it was really bizarre it was like cool and then, and then I got to complain the fact that I never made a move I was like well yeah because your friend was there <laughs> was well, like, she, had a, she was like why didn't you make a move afterwards yeah that's weird yeah, it, 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 that relationship was just weird. I just kind of went out with her for the sake of going out with her, to be honest. Oh, you went out with her as well? That didn't stop there. That wasn't the end of it. No, that wasn't the end of it. I went <laughs> out with her for the sake of going out with her. It was good. That's great. It was, I was young. I was like, she liked me. I heard that she liked me. I was like, all right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Love might, it. Might as well. Why yeah. not? It wasn't, yeah. Sorry, Beth, if you're listening. I don't care. But never yeah. mind. Yeah, um, no, I agree. I think when you're, you're first in secondary school, like any girl that shows you, well, th- this is for me as well. I, I I can relate to that story where someone showed you attention. You're like, well, because I was, a, I was kind of a very antisocial kind of kid. I've, I've got very more out of my shell and, and social now. Um, now I love that, you know, I, I can't go a week without seeing other people and actually probably socializing. Um, yeah. It's when alcohol got in your life, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was. <laughs> alcohol changes everything. Yeah. When I broke up with my first girlfriend, <laughs> that's when it was introduced. All that bitch exactly <laughs> um yeah no but it really does like someone shows your attention you're like oh, i will date this you. yeah yeah I'm, I'm about this yes i'm interested i am sexy yeah <laughs> basically <laughs> people like me for me <laughs> no way it's wonderful yeah but, uh, probably in that high-pitched voice as well yeah it probably was yeah <laughs> but yeah um yeah the best day i ever went on mm-hmm. well, I bet, for it. yeah but i think i bet i think carefully about this because <laughs> oh, no. some people like the current uh, girlfriends like hell no <laughs> <laughs> no I'll be, I'll be honest one of the uh, the best day I'll say, I'll say one of the best day they, it's always kind of hit, it's, it's always stayed in my head like it's still one of the best times I ever did was literally went to uh, unfortunately it's now gone it's the big arcade in London it was near um, all the cinemas are where all the cinemas are I think it's been replaced by That's Eminem World yeah that's squares with all the big cinemas. Yeah, isn't it? Uh, Eminem was there now, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, There used to be a huge arcade there, didn't it? It's not, now gone. Oh, I'm, 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 I don't yeah, know. Yeah, there used to be yeah, a okay. huge arcade there and everything else. Yeah. And um, she was like, uh, I am also like the way she she did it as well. She was like, oh, yeah, do you want to come and meet up with my friends and everything else? I was like, yeah, sure. And she was like, and I basically like arrived and everything else. She was all like done up pretty and everything else. And yeah. she was like, oh, yeah, all my friends cancelled. That sounds like creepy more than nice. <laughs> Oh, I was like, no, no, she was like, she was like oh, my friends conveniently cancelled at the last minute. Oh, I okay. Was like, did Surprise they re-? date. And I was like, did they really? And she was like, no, I just wanted to see her without anyone around you. I was like, you could have just, you know, asked me and I will probably said yes. <laughs> <laughs> but probably, it was, it was, I like it was, probably. It was, I'd probably say yes. I'd probably say yes. You weird girl. But it was like, no, she tricked you but, out. No, but no, you did didn't want to fear rejection. Yeah, yeah, I, I can get I understand. That, that sounds... But I like the fact she was ballsy enough to try and ask me on a date even if it was like a trick date she okay. had she had the, she had the guts to be like hey do you want to do you want to meet up and i was like yeah oh by the way without you knowing this is going to be a date that could have gone horribly wrong imagine if they if you weren't attracted to her in any way and you're like oh no no i was i was a bit messed up yeah anyway but anyway it, it, <laughs> i love that let's breeze over that really quick oh god <laughs> oh no that's oh, no, a, a little bit messed up oh no god run right away <laughs> <laughs> run away social anxiety <laughs> <laughs> oh no it was Carry on. Yeah, anyway and uh, we went to this thing, and it was just one of the best things. All we did is play video games, talked and socialized, and everything. It was great. Sounds cute. It sounds like my perfect day now. It was literally, it was literally the, one of about. the best days ever. We played Mario Kart, we played Guitar Hero, we played this drum thing and everything else. We played Dance Dance Revolution. Oh, perfect. It was like, oh man, it was great. Yeah. We played Time Crisis. I, had oh, it. I was playing Time Crisis, Time Crisis with a chick, and she was better than me. <laughs> <laughs> I won't point that out. such a great game. Oh, man, it was good. And it was the Time Crisis 3 as well, the one that I'm actually surprisingly really good at, because yeah. I actually had it on PlayStation 2. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, was it PlayStation 2? Uh, no, it's PlayStation 2. Yeah, Must yeah. Have been. I remember they all came out on Wii, and that was so much fun, because it felt like you could actually hold the guns again. Yeah. 
Yeah, ah, oh, so good. Those games, oh, mate, I, I want to play more of those. Uh, the, the, the arcades, I always I love I miss it. arcades. I, w- I, yeah. wanna, I feel like arcades should make a re... There's one in I Waterloo, that... I think. Or, no, um, was it Westminster? There's one yeah. right near Westminster next to the I... London Aquarium. And it's yeah. sick. So I miss, because uh, it... I don't mind, uh, online gaming is great because it means everything else. And I, I, it is good. But I do miss the couch car. Uh, well, we said this last the last week, that I missed yeah, the couch yeah. car. But I mean, like, arcade was the pinnacle of couch car. You can meet up, have a couple of games and everything else and stuff like that. It was great. It was great, man. Yeah. No, I, I loved it. Mm. Everything else. But uh, yeah, they don't, you don't get that anymore. Because time, time cri- games like Time Crisis and stuff like that, you can't really have that in your house. Because you never get a ha- to buy all the stuff. That it, I, was, I, was, I was lucky that my dad brought it because he wanted to play it as well. Yeah, yeah. So, because I was nowhere, you know, teenage me was going to be able to... um. To buy that and everything else, definitely. So, yeah, yeah. So he was, he, he was like, "This, this looks cool. I'm gonna buy it." Yeah. So one of the few things my dad's gone like, "This game looks good." Yeah, yeah. But because he's not a big gamer. Yeah. And um, just want to check my mic there again. Sorry, I went quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> no. And the uh, was like, "Oh, it's still working." But yeah, so we um, he checked. So yeah, so I was lucky enough to actually have it in the thing. But it must have cost my dad a little small. F- Small, small amount for that that period because it's no way you get a really. Do you have like the full sensors and stuff? Yeah, like, you the sensors and stuff. Yeah, the, the gun well thing did. and everything else. It was well good, but yeah. I mean, it was never going to be. It, but it was. Yeah, you never get a. Most people are not going to ever get have that experience. Yeah, because it's not it's not a cheap thing. It's dying isn't and it? And it's not it's not it's not a cheap thing. It's very it's very novelty thing because after you played Time Crisis, you're left with a plastic gun that you can never use on your PlayStation ever again. Yeah, wait for the next Time Crisis. Yeah, exactly. It's like, <laughs> it's like great. Yeah, and um. Yeah, it's quite it's quite sad. It's like Guitar Hero, it's like Guitar Hero was a great thing, and everyone's yeah. left this weird plastic guitar in the corner of their of their room. Like, I still oh, yeah, love like, Guitar Hero. Uh, guitar Hero was great. And it, it's still um, uh, it needs to come back really probably. I've got it on the Wii, and I, I think I played so many. I mean, Guitar Hero, I put so many hours into. Mm. But we got the full band, and who cares about the drums and the mic? You just use the guitar every time. I think we played the drum, the guitar, and the drums and the mic for yeah. I, I don't know. No, we I don't, don't, don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind the drums. I don't mind the drums. No, you fan of that? No, no, I, like, I quite like the drums. I had the rock band. I had the uh, yeah, uh, yeah. other one. I had the rock band. So I had the drums. I had the guitar. I had the, I the bass. The rock band and the ones were better. Because there was only four, wasn't there? Not five? Yeah. Yeah. I think they worked better I, I th- on the drums. I, th- I, think, I think the drums was easier on, on rock, rock band. Yes, I'd agree. But, um, Maybe that's why I preferred it, because I'm rubbish. But I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. No? I, 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 I still liked it. I think it was still pretty damn good, though. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. Uh, um, yeah. I, I can't remember. It was funny. We, we decided to make a prompt earlier of uh, Sean would shake his phone at me and I'd ask him a question, but I've totally forgot the question. So <laughs> he just shook his phone at me and I never. Right, well, I'm going to talk about my car. Go for it. Oh, yeah. Okay. That was your car. I was going to say, what, what I'm going to talk about, about my car. Do you mind if I bring cause... up one thing first? Uh huh. Do you mind if I bring up one thing first? Go. So obviously, we're talking about Valentine's Day before. Um, this Valentine's Day, obviously, both of us were single. I went out to the, the cinema and watched Sonic the Hedgehog <laughs> <laughs> with the lads. Um, there was three of us, and it was very fun. Uh, also, that's a bad film, but it was good. They, they introduced little White memes, and it was it was quite fun. It had Sanic in there, little uh, terrible drawing. See, I actually have seen good reports of that film. It's not bad as it's not as bad as you'd expect. I, I was expecting it to be horrible, and it, I was entertained by it. Right. So I'll give it that. Um, and then we went and played Pokemon all all evening till half four in the morning. I, and I came home about four a.m. after playing Pokemon Blue uh, and speed running it, uh, which was great fun. I a fantastic Valentine's. But I bring it up because I go to cinema an awful lot, and I know you mentioned the Oscars earlier before this podcast. Um, but I went and saw Parasite the day before. Ah, which so the one that won the Oscar is the one that won the Oscar for Best Picture. Yeah. And I've, yeah, when I saw it, cause it released in cinema for just four you, days. I feel like you've seen more of the films Oscar this year than I have. I've seen the Most majority of, of the Oscar candidates, I think, yeah. um, for Best Picture. I, mean, I haven't them. seen Little Women, which I think was one of them. Um, I, I think I haven't seen one other, but Little out of the Women nine, won? I think I've seen I don't seven. Think Little Women won. Oh, hang on. No, no, no. Parasite won. But for all the nominations, I Yeah, but I don't I think watched... Little Women won anything. Anyway, I've got, I've got oh, yeah. Here. So Best Picture was Parasite. Yep. Uh, actor, seen that now. Uh, in the leading role was um, uh, Joaquin Joaquin, Phoenix yeah Joaquin Phoenix yeah for Joker for Joker fantastic film which is a great film we saw it together right yeah we saw it together that is a great film Uh, phenomenal Judy who is it Uh, our girl plays Bridget Jones I think it is her oh I I have no idea Uh, her she she won best actress okay for what film Uh, Brad Pitt wants um, supporting actor 
Okay. Uh, Lauren, For what? Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Yeah. Yep. Great. Uh, Lauren He's Dean, in that. Marriage Story. Oh, I haven't seen that either. I think I said that. film was, was another Disney film because there are, according to Hollywood, only Disney exists. Yeah. Which, um, I kind of, it's kind of sad. I want to that... see more Aardman. Aardman animated. Does that count as animated? I think it does. It's, it's stop motion, isn't it? But they, they usually add animated parts to it. Would that count as a full animated film yeah. or not? Yeah, hopefully, because yeah. I want Aardman to get more rewards. Well, they, they, I, f- I feel like I feel like the animated films should be more because it, it, it it's always focused on America. I think it, I think it should be far more broader to help introduce people to different forms of. Oh, to like yeah, animes and things like that. Well, yeah, yeah, they're, they, they're, they're, they're good films. I mean, 100%. You know, it, I, went Gib- to saw, um, I think I think Ghibli's the only one that's won an Oscar, isn't it? Ghibli. What? Well, G- Studio Ghibli. Yeah, yeah. G- Studio Ghibli's won an Oscar, but I mean, there's so yeah, many. Sounds right. There's so many other other things in it. I'm not just saying anime. It's uh, every. Every country has a good animation, anima- animation story, and everything else. And I don't yeah. mind if they truly deserve to win it and everything else. Mm. But I feel like, like, uh, what's it? Um, well, I know there was a lot of kickoff even about, um, even about Parasite, wasn't there? Winning. Well, but I feel like it was a very safe choice. It was, yeah. I mean, if anyone, have you seen it? No, but okay. I, I did see the lineup of who was else nominated. Yeah, so and I feel like Joker was the other one that people were really gunning for, right? I think yeah. that one was... and nine. 1917, 1917 phenomenal film very very strangely shot it, it's great it actually makes you feel rather on edge and almost uncomfortable at times um especially in the first sort of 15 minutes because yeah. yeah the camera's normally like sort of like a godly figure right it's just like oh i'll just get out the way when there's an explosion zoom yeah, out but, and show the character dying but in 1975 you're 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 literally the third person you're, you're the, the third person you're the third person on the mission yeah yeah, that, that, that yeah two given. of you plus yeah and you're the you're the cameraman mm. you're the third person going along with them and it, it's crazy it's so good it is really good i'm surprised it didn't win i mean yeah. it, it won cinematography which i feel like it deserved. oh 100 percent. it, it, but, it I mean, made me feel so strange was nominated? can we can i find out who was nominated? yeah go for it but um let me just um, talk a little bit about parasite then yeah go uh, because it won best picture and it's a strange film it really really talks about just the the poor and rich in it's, it's a south korean film it's all mm-hmm. subtitles um it's funny because even when the english parts come up it's subtitled in english um i guess that's for other countries like germany and uh, you know any other country that doesn't speak english primary um but when any of the south koreans speak english it also, also subtitles it uh they it's really yeah really strong on the poor and rich divide and what poor people will do to get a sort of a leg up in this world and how they screw over everyone else either poor or rich um to get an advantage and it it shows kind of rich people as like supreme or you know very very friendly and over the top at the beginning and then kind of melds it to are oh, the poor people right the rich people right it's, it's fantastic it really does cover such a huge basis in the film and i came out of it just amazed like it it's strange it, like no doubt it's strange but do you think it deserves the oscar i can see why it's nominated and it definitely deserves a nomination mm-hmm. me personally i probably i don't know 1917 and joker are both so, so fantastic i think they i think those would be my top three out of it out of the nine nominated because um i would probably say joker was my favorite personally um but that's yeah, my I love, favorite. I love. I think Joker was for, for me because I watched. I've seen a lot of films that were like quite clearly meant that, that the studio was like, yeah, this is gonna be good, and you know, it's gonna play. I don't. Want, I don't want to shit on the woke movement, but it's gonna, we go play to the woke people. You gotta get them into mm. it and everything else, and it ends up being just being a bad movie, not because of yeah. the woke shit, just because it, it's just a badly done movie. Talking about Ghostbusters. <laughs> But, yeah, but Ghost, Ghostbusters. Everyone hates Ghostbusters. That's a great meme. The thing is, the thing is, the Ghost. And all the films that we're gonna do a female version of. Why Ghostbusters? Like, if you look at the first film and actually describe it to someone, it shouldn't. It shouldn't have worked. Yeah. It's too good. in a bottle kind of bo- film, isn't it? Yeah. It's it's, it's very much lighting in the bottle. Like the, the finale is the whole the whole reference is a pee joke anyway because you hold it hold you hold a machine at your crutch with like weird yellow seam coming out and you can't cross streams. Remember that. <laughs> Never can't yeah. Never yeah, cross the streams. Yeah, never cross the streams, and they defeat. and And the finale of the film is fighting a ginormous marshmallow man, and they do that by all four of them crossing their streams. Yep, that is the end of the movie. I that, love that. Is that and that was a huge <laughs> hit. That was a massive, massive hit. It that was, shouldn't have worked. It was the the people though. It was the charisma between the it, people. No, no, right? it, it, it was, was a script. And it was a charisma. It, it was very much lightning, it, lightning in the bottle. It, it was a yeah. lightning struck, the bottle, and right? it was like bam, yeah. boom, done dusted it shouldn't have worked yeah at all because the whole premise of the movie is pe- the people, premise is dumb yeah premise is dumb that people just find out, yeah people just find out 
in the tw- in the twenty first in the twenty first century in, well, in the twenty first century like oh yeah by the way ghosts they're real we yeah. just realised yeah. <laughs> who knew are everywhere. Yeah. it's like oh come on really there'll be more you know. yeah yeah all, all, all in New York City only and, and right? all in New York City and it's, it's yeah you know, it's, it's also like yeah well, but it, it's, it's like basically going, hey do you know all those crazy people with the tin hats they were right yeah <laughs> they were all one hundred percent right yeah. it's, that's basically what that movie was saying and um it's. It, it was a great movie. I loved the first Ghostbusters movie. It, the others kind of driven on a little bit, but it was very much. It's only one and two, wasn't there? I think. I think there's three. I don't really. I think there's only one. I'm pretty sure there's only one and two, mate. One and two, and then there was the female one. Then they make, they're re- they're carrying on the first one now, or the se- you know the first from the. Uh, okay. They're making one. From I know. I have the seen. I haven't seen of the, one of the people. Yeah, I haven't seen the uh, trailer. Mm. I saw. I saw the trailer advertised. I just didn't saw watch the kids it. from Stranger Things. But um. Yeah, it was very much lightning in the bottle. And so I, I appreciate that we're going to do a female version. And I was like, okay, you got to do a female version. I was thinking, there's going to be fucking hot women and everything else. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, okay. No, you, they weren't all like ridiculously pretty. They were very versatile. The one thing I will, the one criticism I will have is that we had the streetwise one being the black woman still. I was like, no, come, okay. No, if you're going to break full, full ground, let's be honest here. <laughs> <laughs> That's very stereotypical. It's like, we have a black, we have a token black girl in it. And she will still be streetwise. Like, no, you could have. No, you, why not? Why not take the black woman? May have her the one that finds out that ghosts are real and everything else. Like they're one of the main characters and everything else. And she have the one that looks like she should be streetwise. Yeah, the streetwise character. Because there's one. Of the, there's one. There's one. Of the, there's one of the girls. Yeah, who, she likes the gun and everything else. She should be the streetwise one. I must admit, I haven't seen it, but yeah, I can. I can see that. If you're if you're breaking convention, why not break yeah. all the conventions? Yeah, exactly. So one, don't 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 just half ass it and everything else. And it is just a very it, it's. It's okay. It's an yeah. okay, it's for, for what the material they had and everything else. It it was okay. Yeah. It was not a great film. Mm. But I mean, I hate people are like, oh, it's groundbreaking. Not not really. It's not. It's it's yeah, there's better ones out there. They've done done much better for that sort of. One woman. Oh, That's yeah. how you do it. Great film. That is generally yeah, how you totally do agree. it. Broke hundred million, didn't it? Yeah. Um, uh, one woman is doing how you do it. I haven't seen Captain Marvel, I so I can't that. comment. And I'd say one woman is much better. I was, I, I, Wonder Woman looked Personally. quite bad to me. So. Yeah. But I mean, um, but one, one, the one thing I would generally, uh, the only criticism I'll have about Captain Marvel is the fact they actually went, went out of her way and said, oh, they wanted to make her more, more manly. I'm like, but but she's a woman. Be yeah. proud of the fact that she's a woman. Yeah. Wonder Woman is, is a woman and she's proud of the fact that she's a woman and she still wears armor. She wears Roman or Greek uh, Greek, Greek des- designed armor. And it's fan- it's fantasized and everything else. Yeah. But it's, it's, it has a, a ground purpose and everything else and stuff like that yeah but um yeah I, they, they design it at the end I, I haven't seen captain marvel have you for the the end part of it no but i know she has the mo- mohawk thing which is uh thing. yeah, well, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's they cool. design it around a usa colors just because some person goes but you're fighting for us now <laughs> <laughs> no, you may as well make yourself blue yeah red white blue <laughs> it's great I Remember, like it. america 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 it is good it is, it is quite a fun film i mean I think I, Wonder Woman is yeah better. i think one woman is it, it, it's done better many and everything else it's like um and the reason why i think one woman was better because it shows that people are bad not just genders and stuff like that that's what i kind of feel against a little bit it's i, I don't feel like it was too heavily done it was like i feel like wonder woman would could have easily worked if they made it captain america like, i actually feel wonder woman was probably a better captain america movie okay yeah yeah Does that makes yeah. sense well, that's how a good film should be it yeah. shouldn't matter what the lead it should, is it, and... it should be it should be like the main if it should feel like the main character happens to be that thing yeah, yeah and yeah. i feel like that and i feel like the okay. moment mo- most white movies can be like okay well they're women who have to enter fi- and we have to like seek to find that they are women and therefore yeah, yeah. they and therefore we have to really put effort into that it's like you, yeah. no you 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 really don't just write a good story it's like Amy Schumer comedy, isn't it? Hey, by the way, I'm a woman. It's and like, it's, it's just not. Well, yeah, I congratulations. find it funny. <laughs> yeah. You it's say not, laughing. It's, yeah. <laughs> well, it, it's funny how poor it is. <laughs> but I mean, that's the joke on the internet that she is so poor, where she like, steals jokes and just sort of mentions um, just as much women facts as possible. Um, but there are great. Actually, I went to a comedy club the other night. Did I tell you about this? I don't think no, I did. you didn't. No. Yeah. So uh, actually went met up with a with a mate we went to a comedy club and there was like five uh, six different comedians and they were fantastic everyone was fantastic honestly it was so so good it was one pound entry really into the, the secret oh, i can't remember what it's called i think it's called the secret comedy club or something it's obviously not very well named because everyone knew about it but it was one pound entry and it was nuts it was just so good there was um 
one big comedian. I can't remember his name now. Sean something. Um, it was me. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was me in costume. Stood up on stage and it was fantastic. Uh, and yeah, it was just. I was just amazed by how well they all. Um, all the comedians were because they, they looked like they. Some of them were like, oh, I haven't been on stage for two months. Actually, no, the guy that said that was actually the worst by far. But <laughs> <laughs> it showed. <laughs> but everyone else was really oh, Man, good. that guy is really listening to us. You're like, oh. No, no, he, he knew. He, was, he easily did not get the, no one really clapped at what, uh, he was. He mentioned it a few times and was like, now they're going to think it's part of your set. And he started talking to himself and he got a piano out. And he was like, I don't know what to sing. <laughs> it was great. It was, he was definitely so the So you would, you would love the Fringe Festival. Fringe. Which, for, if anyone who doesn't know what the Fringe Festival, Fringe, Fringe Festival is, is a, a festival in Scotland. It's yep. a um, arts and show festival. Yep. Where uh, basically um, loads of acts from around, 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 around the world. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what accent this is. Yeah, it's Scottish. Yeah. 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 Listen to me. Oh my god, god that, that's most annoying. It's gonna be horrible. Why are we doing this? <laughs> so, Stop. Oh, uh, it's. <laughs> Talk to our fans. Sorry, audience. The, last f- the few fans we have. The 26 <laughs> views that we've already got. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Thanks, thanks. We've only released this yesterday, by the way. The first podcast was released yesterday. Yeah, we had a little uh, bit of feedback, which is great. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you... Yeah, anyway. Um, Sorry, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, I actually bring up the feedback in one second, because I'm going to have to ask oh, you no, a question. No. Oh, but, no you, um, have to, you have to go through the whole list, because that was that's a great list. you got to go through the whole... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I mean, I feel like we're not going to cover. Ex- I've made a no, massive list. No, you got re- you got to read that message because that's a oh the message. Mess- you got to read. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, right, right. Carry on with your story for a second. What's the, uh, oh yeah, by the French yeah. festival. It's, it's a huge art, art and show thing, and um, there's loads of people there performing. You got comedians, you got play shows, and everything else. Loads of people who are in who are in comedy or yeah. do shows and everything else end up making a, a making a huge name for themselves there. I mean, who was it? Uh, Robbie uh, uh, Robin Williams, um, uh-huh. Hugh Grant. Is it Hugh Grant? No, um, yeah, you tell me. <laughs> I don't. There's so there's so many. I don't know how many, but there's so many of them who make big names in in the Fringe Festival and everything else. And yeah. um, it is a great thing. I I will recommend 100. Okay. percent You see some fantastic acts in there. Yeah, I would and love normally, to do that. And and some of the some of the best acts are free. You yes, I'll repeat. Some of the acts are indeed free. free. Where is this in in Scotland? You say? Yeah, Scotland. Either Glasgow th- or Edinburgh. I think it's it's Edinburgh, I, th- cities, I, I think it's probably Edinburgh, yeah. but I can't remember the top of my head because yeah. you know. Talk I, about festivals real quick i've signed up for a pokemon go safari event i don't know if anyone well <laughs> we'll talk about this i love pokemon i we, we, i played pokemon until 4 a.m on valentine's day yesterday or uh, 4 30 um and we so started lonely. at like half 10 yeah all right all right <laughs> but i signed up for a pokemon go safari event which means you can catch pokemon in pokemon go there's pokemon which are limited to region so some are only available in Australia, some are available in South America. You know, it's all over the the world to, to make it a little bit more difficult for people. And everyone can't just catch everything. Mm. In these safari zones, you can catch limited things. So I bought a ticket because my brother was very excited for it. And we're going to go to Liverpool. We live nowhere near Liverpool. We live in the south, um, under London. Uh, to, so I'm going up there in April. Right. Guess how much... I, ticket is to buy to get limited edition pokemon or pokemon that you can't normally get so i bought it on the first day so actually i imagine about uh, so a ticket just to, so i go there for six hours between 12, 10 12, 12, between 15 quid 10 and 6 all right let me tell you what what actually happens between 10 and 6 no 12 and 6 is six hours mm-hmm. i can go there i get i yeah I, I i get to go into a limited area it's like a fenced off area so it is actually an event with all these other people with limited tickets and they you can all catch pokemon and that sounds awful. This sounds so lame. Yeah, but I'm going. Oh, um, you're yeah. a grown man you of say? 25 years old. I said 24, please. 24. respect to my name. Yeah, we're 25, 25 by the time it happens. I will. I will be 25 as I go in there, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, so what did you say? 12 to 15 pounds? Well, yeah, well, that, that's what I imagine it will cost. It can't cost that much to actually host the event. So 12 to 15 pounds. But exactly. I imagine they over overpriced it. So it's, so it's fenced off, which I thought. Okay, that's you know there, there is a an event. There are people actually there. It's yeah. it is an area fenced off, which originally I thought it wasn't. It was just walk around the city. Mm. Um, but my brother was excited, so I just paid for the ticket anyway. This goddamn ticket cost me twenty seven pounds. Twenty twenty seven pounds. I was shocked. I was like, "What the hell is this?" So so I I, I bought the all out ticket. If you bought the the first ticket, which was 
12 till 6, no extra exclusives, you just get in the area. Um, it was... Oh, what was it? It was £12 plus taxes plus fees, which was £6. It was £18.40. Right. So that was the basic ticket. Mine, I bought the all-out one, so I got a city pass. I don't know what this means. I More Pokemon spawn. I get better egg drops. Like, I, you know, I get cooler Pokemon. I get cooler Pokemon. I had to pay more for it. £27. Today, because it happened, this released on... You paid on... money to catch fictional things on your phone. Yes. Yes, I did. My brother was excited. It'll be a fun event anyway. We'll go up to Liverpool and it'll be, it'll be a good time out. Um, so not only did I do that, which sounds ridiculous, uh, now we have to book a train up to Liverpool. Yep. Um, it should be that, can't be that expensive, though, can it? No, I, we, we looked. It was like 30 quid. It was 30 quid return. We're going to go up on the Saturday, come back on the Sunday. It'll be fine. So we bought tickets for the Saturday. Also, you could buy them for the Friday or the Sunday, though. So I bought them as soon as they came out. My brother said, tickets are released. Buy them now. And I was like, okay, cool. This is what we're doing. It'll be fun. Nice little chat. I messaged my mate saying, oh, you want to come to this event as well? We're going up to Liverpool. He said, yeah, I love Pokemon Go. Let's do that. That sounds great. And we go out for drinks afterwards. I was like, great. So Jordan? No, it was Karen. Okay, Karen. cool. It's cool. It's fine. I don't have to murder him. It sold out by this morning. They released yesterday morning at 8 a.m. Are you serious? It was you're, sold you're out. Yeah, she's serious. It's yeah, hundred percent. No. Not only did it sell out, they increased the price. I bought it as they released for twenty seven pounds. Now today, all right, today to buy a full ticket because you can still get it for the Friday or the Sunday, but not the Saturday. Yeah. It's forty pounds. Forty to go buy catch Pokemon to catch pixels to it's <laughs> to catch 20, ones and zeros. Twenty, I think it was twenty that you can't touch five pounds. For the base ticket. So it wasn't £18.40. It was 25 That's nuts, That's right? That's awful. That is nuts. I guess supply and demand, but I was I was just amazed by how much this costs. I'm excited for it. It'll be I fun. Mean, It'll I, be a fun day out. I've, but... said, I've said in the past that we, you know, we both like games and everything else. I'll, yeah, put, I'll probably say that Pokemon is probably the best game in the world. And it has my reasons. I'm not, I'm not, if people go like, what about The Witcher? Like, yeah, The Witcher is a bit better game, but simply just by the the age thing and everything Ooh, yeah hit the mic yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're gonna have a few of that eventually after a few times we'll, we'll get used to this yes yeah. don't worry you'll get less passion but um yeah you um just by the age range you have like so you have such a big age range of like people playing it and everything else that's yeah. probably why it's it's one of the the best games ever you get so it's things that you know if it's still going uh, oh, there's probably people who could probably like play with their sons now and, and their yeah. kids and everything else. Well, I guess that's what Let Go Pico and Pikachu and Eevee was about, wasn't mm. it? It's it's really good. That, I that's think that's it's that's a great that's, game. that's what's brilliant about it. I think the only game that's kind of close to that maybe Zelda. Yeah, maybe Zelda. These huge games that have like spanned for years. Yeah, and maybe Mario. But I mean, uh, the yeah, way but Pokemon's never had such a big impact as as like, I don't think those two have had any impact as much as Pokemon has. Pokemon's yeah. been or rather weird like. P if we they, say Pokemon they must be, they're, they're charging it purely because they think people will buy it. Well, they and, have. It sold out. <laughs> exactly. That's the thing. And they and they were right. So it shows you how, how big Pokemon really is and yeah. everything else. Pokemon is huge. Well, I went to the Poke Center before. Do you remember there's a, a Poke Center that offered limited edition merch in London? Yeah. Yeah. I, I went there for 6 a.m. I didn't get in till about 2 p.m. Mm. And nothing was left. I bought I bought a beanie. A, bit of a goddamn beanie and uh, three notepads. And I mean, they look sick. And these are limited edition. No one else can buy these. They were only available in London. But I spent like six... Well, no. What did I spend? What is, what is six till two? Yeah. A lot. A lot of goddamn time. Queuing. <laughs> ten hours. Ten hours of queuing. No, it's eight hours of queuing. And it was horrible. I was like, why did I do that? I mean, it was fun because I was with my mate, George. Um, and we just chatted and just didn't do any well we chatted for all that time and just monged about um actually one of the comments sorry i was going to bring up the comments earlier uh someone one of my my mates who gave us feedback on the podcast he listened to it yesterday you got, no you gotta do the text i'll see it in a minute, second, oh. in a second. um he did say uh why do you mention jordan so much <laughs> <laughs> so in our first podcast, we well, you, well, you and me. Oh, I think it was just us in general. It was like you, you guys. He goes, "Who is this Jordan guy?" Obviously, he's one of his best mates anyway, as well. We had close friendship. We were all playing Pokemon until four AM yesterday. Um, he was like, "Why do you mention Jordan so much?" I, I didn't realize we did, but uh, clearly I did. You, you have mentioned him a lot already. Yeah, well, it, Jordan, I spent Jordan, a lot Jordan, of time. Jordan, I spent Jordan. a lot of time with him, and uh, we're going to Thailand. We we queued up for Pokemon. Um, we watch films together all the time. So it feels like a. I spend a lot of I'm time. Not, with we're him. not really friends. 
Yeah. <laughs> we, we don't hang out. <laughs> we don't. Well, that's what this podcast is for. Yeah. We, what, this is well, the whole it's one of the reasons. Yeah. Yeah. It was to see you a bit more, have a chat and catch up. And, I yeah, mean, yeah, man. This is great. I, I, I was looking forward to this all week, honestly. Oh, same here. Definitely. I, I, could I, not I was wait. thinking, I'll, I sit down and have a few drinks and last, just chat with you. Literally, last time, that like Joel can confirm, last time Joel had did all the way he had to host everything and everything else he had his own list i actually have a list I, has, I did something this time he has notes like talking points hence why like man city came up all the football yeah that was vegan all, meal vegan meal yeah i mean my that's car, really my, yeah i haven't got no my car you need i want to i need to do that story because he wants to know the story don't he? we running oh out of time. yeah we are running out of time. i mean it's now 15 already obviously we're going to cut out a little bit um because of the beginning but our recording's over now 15 already. all right so does yes. He, w- so, which which nurse story does he want? So yeah. So so we last last uh, session we said, oh, <sighs> the nurse story will be held for next episode. And my mate Kez has who gave us all the feedback, which is great of him. He listened to the entire podcast and gave us feedback. Asked, I hope the podcast, the nurse story, is in the next podcast. Right. Nurse story. Go for it. I met a nurse. The end. Oh. No. Um. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I met a nurse. We're, we're getting quite friendly and everything else. We were messaging a fair bit. It was a, you know, a bit flirt- flirtatious and everything and stuff like that. And then um, one night she was like, uh, I mean, I was I was working in London at the time. Can we say where you met her? No. Okay. Just in case. <laughs> okay. Okay. We met we met her together. I, I met her as well. Yeah. She was lovely. She was. She she is lovely. She is lovely. And... um. We met her a couple of times. We were chatting with for Tasty Spencer and everything else. And then, um, basically, I got a message going like, "Oh no, I'm on break. My extra, extra on break and everything else." And uh, you know, do, do you want to meet up? And I was like, well, "I finished work. I've got nowhere else to be. I'm not particularly that disgusting because sometimes at work I'm, I'm on a building on a building site. So I'm, I'm dusty and everything else. I'm actually reasonably okay and everything else. I don't have to wear my ridiculously big boots." Yep. Um, so I was, I was actually um, looked rather presentable. I was like, "Yeah, okay, we'll go for a couple. We'll go for a drink and a catch up and everything else." I got a little bit tipsy, mm-hmm. but a little bit. I mean, I, I, I don't know how much I drank. <laughs> okay. What out on her break, or did you before you met? Out? No, because I was drinking with the lads beforehand. Cause it was a yep. Friday. I think it was a Friday or Thursday night. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So, so you're pretty maybe before you met her. Yeah, I was drinking a bit bit before I met her. Then I went out. We had a like, little meal and everything else, and I drank a bit more then. Cute. And then she was like, "I'll oh, go on to my break. Do you want to do you want to see where I work?" And I was like, "Yeah, all right." I mean, I didn't care. I was a bit drunk. Yeah. So I went there, and she was like, oh, "This room's this room's empty." In we're in the hospital, by the way, in case people are wondering. We're, yeah, yeah, we're in the, we're she in the was hospital. a nurse in a hospital. She was a nurse in a hospital. Yeah, no, not let's not say she not was, a nurse um, in the fire in, in the fire department. That'd be weird. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was gonna say uh, let's just clarify. She wasn't um, a home nurse, a domiciliary nurse. No, <laughs> she didn't go into a random person's house. Like, oh, hello. <laughs> Oh god, no! That, would that be worse? I don't know. Well, I mean, tell the story, but the the oh, people can so decide. Cringy. It's so cringy. It's great. It's so bad. Yeah. It was a nice story. Yeah, my That's parents are never hearing this story. Um, yeah, don't share this podcast. <laughs> I'm not sharing this podcast. I'm not not now. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, was it. We, we requested it. We mentioned it. It's a funny story. It's it's worth. Oh, uh, anyway, um, went into uh, we went into this empty room. Yes, and we in got, hospital. In in the hospital, and we uh. We played a serious game of Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right. We bumped canoes. Bumped canoes. We did the dance with no pants. <laughs> <laughs> we had sex is what I'm getting at, guys. Yeah, 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 we, we, yeah. we did the deed. I'm not giving you details, okay? You can, yeah. you can picture anything else. And I was, you know. You can picture it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea. The people picture a nurse. Picture a Sean. <laughs> picture a <laughs> <picture of> Sean. <laughs> Sean the sheep. <laughs> Picture Perry the platypus. <laughs> yeah, picture whatever you want right now. <laughs> but um, yeah, and so I was like, you know, I did the D. I was like, okay. So I, I, I had sex with a nurse. I can tick that off my uh, my weird sex bucket list. Damn right. And uh, in a hospital, which I never thought ever in a weird one of the places that you never think yeah. that stuff would ever happen. Yeah. Got my clothes back on. She has to go back to work and everything else. And she just let's go back to work. It's like her <laughs> lunch break. It's a lunch break. She goes, I have to go back to work. I'll, I'll see you later. You know, I'll talk to you later. And I was like, oh, see you next week. Oh, but walk out i didn't look to the room next to us it's like windows and everything else and i see um it's, 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 there's a lot of babies it's the ch- yeah children's ward <laughs> she works in the children's ward she yeah. works in the children's ward where the, nurse, with the, with right? the, yeah she's yeah she, she works in the children's ward with, yeah with all the children who are terminally ill oh no and the room next door oh no is where 
Yeah, no, yeah, it's, so, it's just yeah, it's horrible. It, 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 it's great. And, 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 and then she looked back, and I was like, and then nothing sobers you up as quickly as that. <laughs> 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 Literally, you, you, the fact that the fact that well, there's a hell. Yeah, my, my name's on the list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and there's yeah. no way talking me out of it. It's I like think very reasonable. <laughs> I mean, I, I wouldn't even argue. I mean, like, if if I if if I go to hell, if there yeah, is yeah. a hell or heaven, and I I ultimately go to hell, and they're like, no, your name's on the list. I'm like, no, mate. Are you sure you want you want to double check that? Definitely, you definitely want to double check that. <laughs> I'm oh I, I'm down there. Don't worry. <laughs> You've been down there before. It, 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 look, I, most people don't want to come in. I don't want to come in, but I know for a fact that my name's on the list. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get sent up, and then I'm gonna come back down. They're not gonna have my name. Let, let's get it, it all sorted in one. It, just, just just double check. Make, yeah, yeah. make a phone call. Yeah, <laughs> mention my name, and they'll be like, oh baby guy. Yeah. <laughs> Baby guy, <laughs> that's I want that to be your nickname now. That sounds horrible. No, baby no. guy, what no. horrible name? Um, I mean, there you go. I hope that's 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 pleased uh, the people. God, I hope. What was, is it? Yeah, I hope you're happy now. Yeah, that's it. Other questions by that were um, it did take one week to edit because obviously we we mentioned what we mentioned what day we were filming this on. Mm. I mean, I think it makes it more relevant because we bring up news stories. But yeah, we it didn't t- it didn't take one week to edit. We we. I edited it in probably a night. It did actually. I was up to like four AM just editing for just. I, I enjoy this a lot actually. Yeah. Um, but the what took so long is that we were trying to get approved on iTunes and Spotify, which we have currently been approved on iTunes. So iTunes Check us type out. in lock in podcast. That's L O C K space I N dot space podcast. Uh, that was terrible. Oh my god. L O C K is in lock then space in. <laughs> I N and space podcast. There we go. That's better. We currently have. If people are listening, I'm pretty sure they already it, know. And they know we've we've been drinking. Um, and then on on Spotify, we haven't been verified yet, but we're currently working on it. Also, our YouTube channel is youtubecom slash podcast No spaces. Uh, we also have a Facebook page. Um, so we're getting onto it, really. Yeah, we, we are getting onto it. I'm just about to finish my drinks, mate. How are you doing? I've finished. Mm. I'm done. My uh, my my two peronis. Okay, perfect. Well. We're getting through that nicely. Um, I'm glad with all of that. I've, I've got other things to ask as well, but again, we can just pass these over. Like, there's a lot of conversation that we yeah. want to talk about. We, can... it, we are getting to the end. Yeah, it's oh, now it, 20 in this. No, it'll, it'll come up. Yeah, yeah, perfect. So, how I like to end, as always. Oh, you got... No, you got... Okay. I need to come up with my own ones, but okay. Would you rather? Go. I've got I've got two written down already. Um, hit me. Hit me with your rhythm stick. I've got... I've got don't, one... Don't one. With your rhythm stick. Oh, I'm going I'm to hit you with the rhythm stick. You're getting hit, boy. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Let's not do this. No. We've, um, we love our anime. Uh, so I've got I've got a tamer one and a, and a riskier one. Well, no. I mean, they're both just a bit dumb. One's a bit just tamer. I'll just what go for first? it. Just go for it. Just go for it. Just go go down the list. You want, All right, cool. So two, oh, I've got two again. Would you rather mm-hmm. have a thousand pounds put in your bank account right now? I, I, or a thousand pounds is not a lot. Get ten thousand cents to the charity of your choice right now. Do you want it all to your money, all to you, or would you what, rather what, a thousand, get it to charity? a thousand now, or ten thousand to the charity? Yep, or ten thousand to the charity. A thousand, yeah, a thousand is not a lot. I can earn no, a thousand is not a lot. Once well, I did that the other way around. What I about mean, ten thousand to you right now, or a hundred thousand? Ten thousand to, to myself choice? right now. <laughs> 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 so that's it. Yeah, all right, cool. So the ten thousand to a hundred thousand, you'd be mm. like ten, ten. Although, you. although, if you made it ten thousand either way. I'll probably say ten thousand to myself, and then right now I then give five thousand to charity. No, you can't. You can't use any of this for charity. That's my my asterisk. So oh, ten thousand to yeah. you, or a hundred thousand to the charity of your choice. A hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. It gets times by ten every time. Hundred thousand to the charity of your choice, or ten k in your pocket. A hundred thousand charity. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. I would love to say that I could do that as well, but, but you're you're yeah. like, <laughs> give me the money. Would help me so much. Give me the money. I feel like that's, um, yeah, it's harder than I... Yeah, I, I think I'd... I don't know. I'd love the idea that I could, I'd give 100,000. But if someone said, here's 10K right now, or give 100K. I mean, it's, it, ten, it, it's harder to turn down. I'm just thinking, I can... You, you can earn that. If you if you, if you if you crack down and wise up... And, 100%. And, and everything else, you can... You, you can say, it will take a little while, but you can you can say that. If it was... Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Y- 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 yeah, so... And, a, a, you know, 100K, so I, I would never be able to earn that. Well, I'll, I'll, you can earn that and, and save up for it, but it takes such a ridiculous amount, amount of time. Yeah, and so it makes more sense to either give that give, give that for that option. It makes more sense to have chari- for charity to have that, and me to just work work hard 
Cute. And get the uh, and get the ten grand myself. So yeah. Like that a lot. I mean, would you want to say which charity you'd give it to? Anyone that you'd uh, particularly stand out? Either Help for Heroes or uh, Cancer Research UK. Top lad. Top one, lad. One, one of the two. Yeah, I do Cancer Research and uh, Great Ormond Street as well. Those are the, the two that I always do. Oh yeah, Great Ormond Street. It's to, to the no, ones. that's a good... <laughs> Mate, I think... I we all have, we all I have our like, reasons. I, th- but... I thought I was a story I just told about the nurse. I feel like Charlotte Grey on the street should be high <laughs> on the list. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And I don't think they'll accept the money, though. <laughs> Keep your money, you yeah, dirty, yeah. Dude. Here is, dirty man. Here is the next one. Bit more risque. Would you? Would, oh, would you rather suck a penis for five for £50,000? Why is it always a money one? I've got to do it. I feel like the money one's what I went for this time. Or... Every time you suck a penis, you get five thousand pounds. So in the long run, you could earn more. Yeah, but I don't suck penises. That's the point. But but for five k, would you? And for five k every time, would you? Or for fifty thousand one time? Because if you wanted to suck more than ten penises, you're in profit. So anyway. For one penis is so. So one oh, penis ever. That's it. Seconds. End off. This is such a sick This is question. my question. Yeah. Well, this is what I like. This is the questions you got to ask. These right. are deep, deep questions. So, more profound. So one, one penis. Right. One now. penis. Fifty k straight away. Right. Or it's a fair bit of money. Yeah, it is. I mean, that's a big amount of money. Yeah. Change, change a lot of life. That's a that. deposit. That's a, that's a, that's a deposit yeah, it on is. house. Yeah, deposit on a house. I mean, you're quite a, that's, 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 a, that's a nice deposit on a house as well. Yeah. Like, I mean, up north, that's like uh, like a third of a house. You're in good stead. Third of a house. How poor do you think they are? Up, up north, the houses are like 150 grand. Yeah, no, no doubt. Um, or every time you suck a penis, but you don't have to suck a penis for this. You don't right. have to start. Every single time you do do it, mm. you get 5K immediately put in your bank. So if you wanted to, you can make a lot of money. And all you have to do, I'm not saying you have to go find clients. I'm saying you just click your fingers. You're like, oh, the penis is there. Probably take the second one. Take the second one. Take the second one. Yeah. Well, yeah it's like it, a lot of penis. Well, no, no, well, no, because it gives you the option. If, if, if I'm ever really desperate for money, like I mean, I'm really, I'm really desperate for money and everything else, I can actually go bang, 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 just humiliate myself. You don't have to bang. Just suck. No, no. <laughs> you know what? I just clip my fingers. <laughs> yeah. They turn up. Boom, 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 boom. Yep. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty k. Done. No more. Everyone, fuck off. Yeah. But but all you have to do is suck one. You would have a 50k though. You've just had to suck six for 30. Yeah, but it gives me, the, yeah, but I don't have to do it then and now. I have to do it if I'm really, if I'm ever really, really desperate. If I'm ever like close to living on the street or anything else, yeah, then, yeah. then, then, I, then I'll do it. Close to living on the street. You know, people get to that point before doing this. <laughs> I love how you're like, I'm close to living on the street. I need 5k. <laughs> I mean, I'm in a lot of debt. Give me the penises. <laughs> No, yeah, no, because I don't, yeah, because yeah, yeah, well, the other one is like, well, I'll give you 5k, but you have to suck a dick right now. So I don't 50K. want 50k. 50k, yes. 50k. Yeah, I'll give you 50k right now. Yeah. If you suck a dick right now. It's like, but yes. I don't want to suck a dick right now, and I don't re- really, I, I'm not, it's a lot of money, and I can use it. I can well, do a lot of things with it, but I don't. We'll get rid of this suitcase then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, if it's right, right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> no, mate, no, I would say no. It g- gives you the one. option, because then, huh? Yeah, you do the other one. Oh, yeah, I'll do, I'll do that one. Because I don't have to do it. Yeah. It's there if I need it. Yeah. And it's always there if I need it. Okay. 50k one is that, yeah, you only have that one cock. But I mean, you have to do it there and then and everything else. And 50k, is, it's a lot of money, but you'll go yeah. quite quickly. Yeah. Having 5k there when you need it, when you really need it at any point. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you have to do a suck cock every single time, but I mean. <laughs> but when you re- but you only, when you only do it when you really need it. Yeah. Need a spare five k sitting around. Yeah, is and that he, when you and, want and, to? And, when we want to book a new holiday? <laughs> like, and, and you just murder the person afterwards, and you can never speak of this. Yeah. What, what's What's my? Oh, how much does my honeymoon? So what cost? would you do? Twenty grand. So which one? Uh, <laughs> There's four of those. Oh. <laughs> no, no. So which one would you do? Um. Oh, it's a hard question. See, I didn't even think these through. I just immediately was just like, I'll just make them up. <laughs> he was like, uh, ah, this would be funny to catch Sean out. Exactly. Oh wait, no, he's asking me he's too. Asking me, I think. I mean, fifty grand for one penis. Yeah, but how far would that? How far will you stretch that? How I far mean, will that go? As you said, it's a deposit on a house. It's a deposit on a house down down this way as well. Even in London, it's a deposit. Yeah, no, it's a deposit. No matter where you are in the United Kingdom, it's a deposit on a house. Yeah, I think it. I it'll think go further up north, but it will go. It's, um, it's, it's a one-time humiliation. It's not 
10 times to make the same amount. I get the, oh, I would only have to do it once. Yeah, no, I think, I think I'd do the one for 50. Yeah? Big, big boy money. Straight away. Get 50, you suck a cock, and then yeah. done. Done. Never again. Yeah. Never have to do it, but go near it again. you have to suck a cock. Yeah. So you, so you rather take the option where you have to suck a cock? For 50 grand? For 50 grand, I think it's almost reasonable. Reasonable. No, no, no. It's just done. I'm not that, it's, it's I'm not that way inclined. It's, so. te- it's 10 minutes it's of shame. Thing. 10 minutes of shame for. 10 minutes? 10 minutes. I, I she's just blowjob with the world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, done. Fuck off, mate. I can give me 50 grand. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe I've exposed myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I think, I think 10 minutes of like, to be like, ah, oh, whatever. And then it's. Yeah, then we're totally like clear. I've got 50 grand in my pocket. That would make me. I could buy an aircraft. I mean, I fly. If anyone doesn't know, I, f- I love flying and I enjoy it a lot. Yeah, you. You could take up any hobby. You could get and, or you could get a deposit in a house. I think fifty grand is such a life changing amount of money. I would do that. It's fair enough. And there we go. On well, that uh, bombshell. Let's get this over done with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, on that bombshell, that's the end of the podcast. You can't use bombshell. That's a Top Gear thing. We'll get sued. <laughs> I don't give a damn. Sue me, Jeremy Clarkson. Try it. <laughs> No, no, Jimmy Clarkson is the BBC. It's not the BBC anymore. It's Amazon, isn't it? Yeah, but Top Gear's BBC. Oh yeah, well, do they still use that? Well, no, it's by it's it's bookmarked by them. If you use it, it will, they'll probably make the money soon, man. On that end of this podcast, <laughs> nah. On that bombshell, I'm ending the podcast. <laughs> it's a good way to end. Right, see you later. Take it easy. Thank you so much for listening again. Again, we are on iTunes now. Look up. Lock in podcast. We are on YouTube, lock in podcast or youtube.com slash lock in podcast. Um, lock we're on in Facebook, lock in. Uh, it's lock space in podcast. Um, also, uh, our, the the YouTube channel that I use is Joel the Third. That's where the first one was uploaded just because we had subscribers on it to get a little bit more traction. Um, feel free to go there to have a look. Uh, but otherwise, most of it from now on should be transferred to the lock in podcast. As soon as Spotify verifies us, hurry up, Spotify. We will then uh, be on there as well. Thank you so much for listening. It's been an absolute pleasure, Sean. Do you want to say anything? Yeah, bye. Bye. I'm glad because last time you didn't say bye and uh, I left that in the podcast. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're like, are you going to say bye? N- no. No. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. See, look, you're so up to us already. Yeah. I'm opening up for my shell. Aww. Yeah, it only takes one nurse story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect it's such cringy I'm so glad I got that out of I, the way I love I'm it so bad. Right. I'm so I glad hope I everyone enjoyed that, that Karen you caused this and I love it goodbye I hate you Karen <laughs>